Hey everybody, this is Cat the Gamer Gal, and we are... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I haven't tested this mod out before. It's the alternative start mod, so I just know we it, it prompts on a new game, so... I thought, why not start a new game just to test this out? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, you're playing a lot of Fallout 4 lately, and you're doing a lot of mods lately. Why? Because I want to do a modded playthrough one day. I would love to do a f actual, true modded playthrough of this game, but I don't know what type of character I want. I don't know if I want to be male or female, honestly. And I honestly don't know if I want to, um, to do an alternative start or if I just want to go from the base storyline. Like, I really don't know what I want to do here. I'm really, I really don't know what to do. So, we are going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to do a new game. I guess why not? Let me test something real quick. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Now, um... I'm hoping that this works out. So I know we, we start from a new game. And I think right after the... I don't know if there's even an intro, but I know that there is like a prompt. It gives us a prompt. So we have to pick between just going through the vault... Which I think it'll actually skip the pre-war section, which kind of stinks. I actually really like that part. Or just go with an alternative start, so... I don't know exactly what we're gonna- what's gonna happen. But here we go! Yay! I just hope it doesn't crash. Because <laughs> every time I redo the load order- oh. Well, I guess we get to see the intro. Yay! Hi, Gluji! Should I let the intro play, or should I skip it? Like, I actually... I think I watched it on my very first time, but... Eh, it was a long time ago. I don't know. War. War never changes. Mm. In the year 1945... My great-great-grandfather... Serving in the army. Wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife. And the son he'd never seen. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II. By dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead... Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. Afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's the is that war. War. War never, war never changes. Hmm. Hey, Javans, welcome back! <laughs> Sorry that I waited so long to reply. Now, I'm testing the alternative start mod, but I don't know if it's if it works, so I'm waiting. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Now... I don't know how 
the alternative start mod works. But apparently you get a prompt. I think after you create your character the prompt will appear, but I can't I can't say. I honestly don't know. Either that or it should have worked and I have it in the wrong placement in the load order, so I guess we'll go ahead and uh, create a character. I mean, might as well. Yeah, but I know what you guys are thinking. Like, why are you playing so much Fallout? Like, goddamn, stop it. I'm sorry, guys. I can't help it. I just... I really am trying to test this out, though. Like, seeing what mods work for me. You know? And... Actually, yeah. Like, I'm testing out to see what mods work. What I can do with my game. And then from there, I'll, like, delete the ones I know I don't need. And then go back and pick the ones that I know would be good to, to you know, to keep on the, on the game. And, you know, just go from there. <laughs> uh, Javon, he said, or Javon, excuse me, he said, um, alright, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there was like a big thunderstorm going on outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that from my window. Um, you said, when you go to leave the bathroom, it'll pop. Okay, good. I want to make sure. Uh, Gluty, you said, the toilet paper correction mod is the most important. Exactly! It is the most immersive mod. Because having that toilet paper backwards is not immersive. I don't know what Bethesda was thinking. Or whoever was in charge of, des of, of modeling the toilet paper. What's wrong with them people up there? <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to find a good face to start from. I think I actually did this character's face. Like, I modeled from this character's face in my first playthrough. I don't remember. My first character. I'll actually go with him. Might as well use the regular default face. Yeah. Style the hair. And I have a lot of freaking hairstyles for the men, so please forgive me. There's like a sh shit ton. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like that. Because it's probably easier to just say it like that. There's actually, yeah, like, there's uh, the more male hairstyles, so once I get to a certain point, I'll be actually... Yeah, see. Looks just like waster hairstyle, but it's got the top knot. So it's definitely, definitely like that. Uh, Gluji said, it's okay, I've spent like but uh, 40 hours into Breath of the Wild. Wow, that's actually a lot. <laughs> Although, I think I still beat everyone with my Dragon Age, you know, my, uh... Like, how many hours I spent on Dragon Age Inquisition, especially on my 360, ver on the 360 version. I spent almost 300 hours on that game. <laughs> and you won't believe where half of that goes. <laughs> All these hairstyles are so cool. actually pretty interesting how this person who made this mod right here, this is where the more ha male hairstyles come from, is this particular mod I'm looking through. And I have to admit, it's, like, they are really, like, they, they take all the other hairstyles and they kind of slowly, like, combine them all. I, or, like, a couple of them. And I think that's very interesting. Don't think I'll pick any of them, though. Not bad. Alright, uh, after having it for less than a week. 40 hours in less than a week. Okay, now that is pretty pretty wicked, though. You gotta admit. I actually kind of like that one. <laughs> I don't know why. It just looks good. Hmm, Ronin Casual Ranger. That one actually looked pretty nice, too. Wow, that looks good too. Like, damn, there's a lot of good hairstyles here. Slick Ranger, nah. Shaggy Ranger, Slick Ronin. Hmm. Like, I like the I like the casual kemp. Uh, you know, the bangs of the casual kemp. But I always like to have the back of it longer. You know, like, hold on, where was it? It was somewhere down here. I just saw it, and it was like really nice. Not top knot. I went too far. Nope. 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 
Was it this? Yeah, it was this. Yeah, here it is. See, the front, the, the bangs are the casual kempt, but the back of it's nice and long. And I don't know why, but I like male characters with slightly long hair. Or if, if, they, if they do have short hair, I like to wear, like, almost all their hair is shaved off and they only have, like, that bit on the top. I don't know why. I just, I'm really weird about my male characters, okay? Just shh, shh, leave me alone. <laughs> She's going to take just as long, so I hope you guys are okay with me taking forever. Uh, Javen, you said, I don't know how much time I've put in The Witcher 3, but it's been pretty much all I've played the past two, two to three days. I know, my god, The Witcher 3, that's right. It's free on Xbox One right now, and I really want to play it. And I'm like, why don't you just go ahead and get it, cat? And you're like, nah, I keep forgetting to, to snag it. I also need to download my um, my Borderlands 2 game with all my DLCs because I freaking love that game. And I, I actually really want to play that game with a few of my friends here. So, one day. That's actually not bad, though. I don't like... I don't like... I really don't like the Widow's Peak, though. Not that much. I really don't care for the Widow's Peak. I see, that's cool, too. The hardest part, picking a good hairstyle. <laughs> I think he's got a ponytail on that one, yeah, no. Nah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go back down to that one that I was really that I like really liked. Where was it? It was ca it was casual casual what was it this one? No, it was blast casual ranger. What was it? Ronin casual ranger? No, slick casual ranger. I wish I could remember which one it was. I know it was casual casual and ranger, but I don't know if it was slick casual ranger or what. I'll find out. Nope, too long. I guess it could be Blast. I actually really like that, though. Okay, we'll just go with, with Blast, Casual Ranger, hairstyle. It looks really nice. I like it. Ew, I know. I like it, too. I like it. I like it. <laughs> hey, Rhythmical Voice! Welcome! Welcome, 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 welcome to the stream. I like the red hair. But I think we're going to go with one of the default colors for now. And I have vivid... I think I have vivid hair colors on, so... Wow, jet black is literally jet black. Wow. <laughs> and he has warm black. I actually, I don't know. Is this, this is hard. <laughs> Let's see what deep red looks like. Okay, deep red's not bad. I don't know why, but it seems, it seems lately all my main characters in Fallout 4 are, being, are like redheads now. <laughs> and normally I would create a, a brunette character, a character with brown hair, you know? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with this new haircut's really working for me. Where's my facial? F where's my facial hair? There it is. Uh, yeah, no, we're gonna get some nice facial hair. Now, the only thing I didn't install was uh more bearded hairstyles. I actually did not install that. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. You know that actually doesn't look bad. Wow. Wow, that actually does not look bad. Not bad at all. I like this graph. It accents your chin. Mm-hmm. Let's see what other ones are there though that would work as just as well. Ah, uh, see, now that one I actually do have for my male character right now. Uh, for Garrett. God, that's gonna be another thing too. Giving them the uh, the right name. Like, I'm weird like that, guys. I hope you understand. I'm just really weird when it comes to these characters. Ooh. Ooh la la. Just imagine that. This face. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Beard. Definitely need a beard. And... Presto. He's done. <laughs> okay, no, no, not really, but... That is... <whistles> Alright, let's actually... <laughs> Glitchy's like, name him Sherplum. <laughs> oh. 
rhythmic. He's like he says uh, he looks like a he looks like a Reginald with that mustache. <laughs> he does. Mm. No, anytime no, oh, there's a particular mustache, you know, where it's like curly on the to- on the in on the ends. Like that mustache always reminds me of Dorian from Dragon Age Inquisition because that man is fabulous and he is very particular about his st- about his looks and his style. <laughs> hmm. Actually, hold on. Can I? Yep. Rosie. See, that's pale. That's rosy. That's sun kissed. That's tanned. Actually, let's make him sun kissed. Something different. What is it? All right, brows. I could change the type. Thick, light. Nope. Thin, arched. That came out pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Intense, solid, full arch. Bushy. Wow, it's really so not. Handsome. Thin. Nah. Average. See, he does. He has a scar. It's like really hard to see it, but there's like a scar right there on his right side. <laughs> oh. Rhythmic. <laughs> I, OML, I want. <laughs> He's pretty good looking. Um, Gluji said, uh, what about Snug- Snugger? Is that what? Snugger? I can't. I can't. I'll spell it. S N G U R G. And I can't pronounce that because I'm an idiot. I can't pronounce that. Rhythmic, why are you being evicted? No. No. That's no. Why are you being evicted? That's my handsome guy. Okay, fine. If that's the one you like, Nora. Jeez. Actually, no, it's type. Does that? Oh, no, no, that does the brow. So we're going to actually sculpt these. Okay, so that does them in and out like that. If I do like this... Oh, Gluji, you got a black horse uh, in, in uh, Breath of the Wild? Oh, I know. Name it Beauty. Name it Black Beauty. That was, that's, the, that's the only name I could think of. If it's a black horse, name it Black Beauty. Because Black Beauty is a beautiful horse. And that is my favorite movie, damn it. <laughs> oh. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I'm lagging. I lagged just a millisecond there. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, like I said, there is a big thunderstorm happening right now. Uh, Gluji... Or no, excuse me. Rhythmic, you said. No, I did. It's just happening, and I feel like... And I have, like, nothing but books, clothes, and a couple things. The Dark Knight. <laughs> the Dark Knight for the horse. <laughs> oh, but that sucks, man. That sucks that you're going through that right now. Like, really. Just... No... No one should be having to go through that right now. It sucks. So okay. handsome. That actually doesn't look bad. Uh, the full ear. It's actually no. Um, scale. There we go. Let's scale it down just yeah, that. Bit. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all, bruh. Uh, no. Eyes. Type. Your eyes. That's the reason I said yes when you asked me out. And I can only imagine that he asked you out when you guys were in either high school or college. Mwahaha. <laughs> Rhythmic, he says, I have tests, a presentation, and a final for chemistry. What do you oh, think? Oh, nice. Huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Handsomely roguish. <laughs> Small. No, actually, no. Sean totally has your eyes. Oh, does he now? Hmm. I actually kind of like the angle a little bit more. Eviction's not supposed to be on your schedule. That that really does suck, though. It really does. Well, good, if I do say so myself. I actually kind of like the angle there. So we're, that's what we're gonna do. Huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Such pretty eyes. All right, I think what we're gonna do. Let me actually type. Hun, you think my nose is too big? <laughs> yeah, actually no. I like the Roman one. What in the world is that noise? It's probably something going on outside, and I can't can't see it from here. There's just so many noises happening. All right, hold on a second. Uh, scale, yes, yeah, sc scale it down a little bit. And yep. such a cute nose. <laughs> it it is a pretty cute nose. <laughs> hmm. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Downturn? Nah. Uh, Actually, not too bad. Such strong cheekbones. Cheekbones, girl. That was his lips. Get it right, or don't get it right at all. <laughs> all right. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Mm, no cheekbones. It says type. Yeah. Oh no. Wait. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? We'll do weathered. I'm trying to make him look a little younger than he is. Try. You have such a strong chin. I'm doing his forehead, honey. What? What is so t mm, yeah, Lines. Not bad. So lined or se I actually don't mind serious. I think I'll leave it as as the serious one. And then right here, no types. That's facial hair. So, where is that? Where's the cheeks? Where are them cheeks at? There we go. And... Hmm. Ah, there we go. I want to get them a little more gaunty than they usually- than, than, you know, than usual. Oh, very strapping. Very strapping indeed. So many songs playing right now. Push them up a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, I think he's done. What do you guys think? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? <laughs> I try. I try. I try with my male characters. In fact, no, he's not technically, he's not technically done. There are extras. Yes? Yes. Damage. And yep, he does. He does have damage on his. Okay, we're going to remove that. And we're going to move that. We're going to remove that. I am going to give him scars. I promise I'm not going to give him the exact same damn scars I've been giving my other male characters. <laughs> like, both of my other male characters, the one from my female playthrough and the other one that I'm playing as right now, both of them have a scar over their right eye. It's, which one was it? This one. I don't know what it is about this one, but it just, it looks good. And the other guys, it looks good. Okay, now on this guy, it don't look that good. On the other characters, it looked good. Hmm. This is the one that he had earlier, and I actually like that at 100%. Let me tone it down just a teeny bit and see what happens. Mm, we'll do six, 63. Okay, not bad. Oh, oh whoops. That's the face I fell in love with. Oh, of course it is. And... Yeah, 60. That works. Boink! not bad. You know, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, hello, handsome. Any markings? He's got freckles in the upper face. I can barely see them. There we go. In fact, no. Let's take those freckles away. Only time I ever gave freckles to my... is, And that's another thing, too. My male characters, like, my first male character has freckles across his uh, upper face and I think the middle. And my second character has, and my second male character has freckles across the middle. So I'm like, 
I'm either one giving them red hair, or yeah, I'm either one giving them a scar over their right eye, or two, I'm giving them freckles. I don't know why, but that's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> so let's not do that anymore. <laughs> let's stop there. Blemishes. Oh yeah. Yikes. Lip color. Why are they giving you lip color, son? And I just lagged again. Luckily, the lag's not too bad. If it is, if it does start to get worse, then I'm sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. There's a storm happening right now, so... There's nothing I can do but the storm. I'm sorry. Can't believe I'm giving him lip color. Boom. Let's see what this looks like if I remove it. Oh, wow. Apply. But then I'll do 100% and see what that looks like. Maker's breath. No, sir. You look better without it. That that shade. Forehead blemish. Let's actually up that a little bit so I can see where it's at. Oh, there it is. I think I see it. Yep, I see it. You know what? Okay, we'll leave your blemishes alone. We'll just we'll just lower them a little bit. There we go. Another forehead blemish. Where are these blemishes coming from, bro? Ah. Yeah, it's not one. At least have it at 24 or something. Look, 30. Perfect. Is there any more? Wow, he has a lot of... Wow, okay, no. Let's remove the splotch on the chin. The splotch on the right eye. Right cheek. We'll remove his red nose. Like, what in the world? I'll remove that too. Cheek gaunts. Ah, okay. There we go. Yeah, I'll remove that too. Yay! My buddy Gamer's Platform is hosting me! That's my buddy Adam over on Gamer's Platform. Go check him out. He's awesome-tastic for hosting me. Thank you, Adam! He doesn't even know he's hosting me right now. It's just an auto-host. <laughs> I have him set up on auto-hosting as well. That way, I, if I don't get the chance to do it, I have it on a list. That's actually not bad. Let's not give him any more blemishes, though. He's What's different about you? He's handsome. That's what. Alright, last but not least this is his body. And I don't know why, but I always like giving him a muscular body, too. So, we'll just make him just a teeny bit thin. Actually, no, let's try to keep him more in, somewhat in the middle, and then make him a little bit muscular. Uh, but I'm leaning towards that. Okay, there we go. That should look good. That look good? I think he's done. Okay, no, he's done. He's done. He is most certainly 110% done. I am not doing him no more. We're done. Hey, my turn, big guy. That's right. Move out of the way. Let your waifu through, and let's do the waifu now. This is going to be hard as hell. Okay. I think I might go with default Nora just to save time on actually modifying the face too much. Because the only other faces that I like in the in this default section is this one somewhat. Most certainly this one because her face is actually really pretty here. And oh, where is it? Her a little bit. Just a little bit. But I most certainly love default Nora. Like, I don't know why. She's really pretty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and worry about that hair. And there's so many freaking hairstyles for this woman. Oh, my God. So many hairstyles. Oh, I'm going to barf. <laughs> like, this is just ridiculous. And some of them even come with hats. Like, What? I probably don't even need to be worrying about this right now. And some of them, I think these are the ones that even have highlights to them. Like, really? God, I just, right, I actually, I think I installed that one too, just recently. There's just so many hairstyles. My God, I'm going to die. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Rhythmic! Thank you for the link! To his channel, to Adam. That's my buddy Adam's. That's the link to his channel, to his uh, ch uh Twitch channel. 
go check him out. He does really cool streams as well. In fact, uh, it's because of him that I, like, he was another one of the reasons why I wanted to really get into, t into doing Twitch, into streaming. So definitely check him out. He's a really cool guy. <clears throat> Glue's like, make her look like a punk rocker. <laughs> Ooh, I like that hairstyle. Like, I liked it before, but I didn't ever, I never wanted to use it. That one's actually really cute, too. Now, see, I really like these for the post-apocalyptic characters, but unfortunately, I haven't made a, a really good-looking female to use this hairstyle with. Like, sh the, the, the female character I make will have to look really badass with this hairstyle. I really like that, too. Like, gosh darn. This is difficult. Alright, hold on just a second, guys. I gotta take care of something. Okay, I'm back. Rhythmic, you're like, oh, hello, looks so pretty. Oh, they do! They do. Mmm. Um, I'm sorry that I had to like stop for a second. Let's just say a little tiny person came into the room into the room because uh, the thunderstorm woke her up, so she's in here taking us taking going back to sleep. See, I love this one. It's so pretty. Tatted hustler, welcome to the stream, my man. How are you doing? I would I would say how is your evening, but I don't know if it's daytime or nighttime for you. <laughs> It's cute too. Like, gosh darn. Glitchy's <laughs> like, don't worry if these characters aren't perfect. I'm sure your next 12 look like you're absolutely right. Because, see, a lot of people lately, like, they pick the character that they're going to play as and they mostly customize that character. Me, I love customizing both characters. I don't know why. I just love, I just, I like the idea of creating both characters and it actually doing something to another character, like, to their son in-game. Although, I won't lie, I kind of have been spoiling myself a little bit and looking a little bit into it, so I'm like... I'm not sure what to think or feel yet on it. <laughs> so hard to pick a hairstyle. Tatted Hustler, you said, I'm well, it's nighttime. I'm also having a great night, by the way. Okay, good, I'm glad you're having a, n a great night. I'm glad. No, I'm glad you stopped by and, and enjoy my stream tonight. Oh, this hairstyle's pretty. God damn, why are these hairstyles so pretty? Your character's... I know, like, okay, Nora's face is default. My male character I just finished customizing. I am definitely going to change her, her her face a little bit. I just don't know what I'm going to do to her face quite yet. See, that's cute. That's a cute hairstyle. That's a wacky cute. Now, see, I love the Elizabeth hairstyle. Brings and like the, the it reminds me, and I think I know what it's referencing to. I think it's referencing to Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite, which oh my god, I love the Bioshock series. Bioshock was just oh, just a good game. I recommend that game to anyone. In fact, I think they actually put the entire trilogy on. Um, I think, yeah, the entire trilogy is actually a next, like, a remastered now, so it it looks amazing. Mm, Ted has the, like, probably, uh, yeah, probably eyes. If not, I might actually, I will probably customize something else here. There's actually a hairstyle I really liked up here. Let me actually oh, see some. Gosh. I know, right? Okay, let me just see how long the bang, like, the braid is. Make her just a, because I have that, that, uh, come on, turn around, turn around, I need, there we go, okay, so the, it does basically go around the bang, and, or the, the, the braid goes, that's actually how I would wear my braids, like, when I braid my own hair, that's how I braid my hair, like, I would leave a little bit of a bang, I'd try to, like, leave it a little bit loose in the back, and I would braid it over my shoulder, like, that's what I would do, 
not muscular, but we will make her a little bit thinner. Not muscular, th not muscular thin, but definitely thin. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Gluji said, "You know the only sad thing about Breath of the Wild? No mods. <laughs> that stinks." Well, then again, it's a very beautiful game as is. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic's like, Bioshock Infinite gave me a shock when I played it. I know, right? That ending, though. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Now, her... I don't know what color to give her. Like, I always give her... Like, I always... Like, whatever character I'm playing, I'm always giving them red hair. So I'm not sure what color to give her. Pink hair. Burgundy. Now, burgundy hair seems more realistic. But see, I don't want to give her burgundy hair. Should I do blonde this time? She actually looks pretty as a blonde. Mmm, golden blonde. Ooh. Hold on, light brown. Ginger. Light brown, ginger, red. Auburn, deep red. Chestnut brown, cool brown. Brown, dark brown. Deep brown. And then black. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her... Uh, let me read the rest of the... Tatted Hustler, you said, I haven't played Bioshock since I was 19. <whistles> wow. God, I remember when I played Bioshock for the first time. I don't remember. I was in high school, I think. Oh my god, it was... I could not be mean to those little sisters. Like, I couldn't. It was. I was too nice. I was like, I can't be mean to those poor little girls. So, that never happened. I'm really liking that golden blonde. Okay. Style? Love it. I know, right, bruh? I love that that hairstyle. Uh, and Tata Hustler, good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, you don't like No, I like purple hair. I just don't know if it fits with her character. Like, I have to really... Like, when I create a character, I have to really, like, really know what type of hairstyle I'm giving them. No. Mm, aqua green. And that's what my, uh, my Nora... my uh, Like, my second character I'm playing is a male character. Garrett and his wife, Nora has aqua green or green aqua eyes also i'm sorry for the lagging guys like I'm, i know like i'm lagging for like a split second i do apologize reason being is because there's a thunderstorm happening right now so it's affecting my my uh streams a little bit more than usual hopefully it doesn't i hope i'm hoping that it's not too bad on y'all's end though i really really do pale blue looks more brighter than blue i'll do pale I blue for her too Sean has my eyes Mm, I think he does too, girl. Uh, let's see. Gluji's like, I love the game as is, but mods would add an additional 100,000 plus hours to the gameplay. <laughs> um, Rhythmic, he says, you said that I have perfect stream quality, so no big. Sean okay, totally good. Has your eyes. Tired, rested. Let's do rested. Eh? That's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like them teeth. That's actually a mod that I installed not too long ago. It was really small, something very simple. You do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Mm, I like those suspicious looks. I actually like the suspicious eyes. That looks nice. Yeah. Color. Actually, yeah, we'll leave her as pale. She is pretty as a as a pale character. Now, hold on. Hmm. Brows. So pretty. Rat. Thin, rounded. I actually like that. And then change the type of nose. Pretty Sweet. too. You like my nose, right? <laughs> uh, glue just, okay. Uh, wait, Tedded Hustler. You should get off that kind. And that's kind of dangerous. Uh, well, I mean, it's not that bad. The storm's actually almost over. I think. Um. It's weird because it started at eight o'clock and it's already <laughs> eleven at night. It's it's like on and off rain. It's really weird. Such a cute nose. It is a cute nose. It's very cute nose. It's like a little button nose. It's so adorable. Uh, and Gluji says, "I didn't even notice." The oh, good, good. Like it, like I said, it, like the lag is like for a split second. I've actually rewatched my streams, and every time I notice a lag or I say, "Oh, there's a lag." It's like literally a split second, even though my Twitch app on my console is like having a heart attack. It's like, oh my god, you're you're lagging. It shows me this big red box all over my chat. I'm like, dude, really? Chill out. Chill out. 
That's so dumb. got it. Let her sleep in here. She's she wants to sleep in here. I told her it's okay to sleep in here. And the storm will grow up. I think Sean has your nose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Sean has your smile, you know? Not bad. Not bad at all. You have great lips, you know that? Yeah, I like that. Are you staring at those lips too? Or is that just me? I still got it. You have such a cute chin. Not 
not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, go pee, and then you're gonna lay down, honey. You got school in the morning. You're gonna go to nanny's tomorrow. Oh, oh dear, unless... Oh, my mics was off the entire time. <laughs> I was talking to you guys, trying to read y'all's messages. And my fucking mic was off, and you guys heard me talking to my niece. Oh my god. I am embarrassed. Son of a gun. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, uh, now you can hear me. I know. Here, I'm thinking my microphone was on the entire damn time, and then suddenly I click down, and I'm like, wait a damn minute. I look down, and it says, on. I hate this microphone sometimes, because it's not like the other microphones I have. Like, I can't, it doesn't prominently tell me, oh, your mic's on, or oh, your mic is off. It's like really tiny letters engraved in it, so I have to, like, shine it in the light just to freaking see what it says. So I apologize, guys. But yeah. Um, my niece was talking to me real quick because she has to go to the restroom and stuff. Poor girl. She has to get some sleep, though. Hold on just a second. Alright, um, what kind of headset? I don't even know what kind of headset this is. Hold on a second. What is this called? At play? Huh. I think it's called at play. It's what it says on the on the actual siding of the microphone. And it's actually a really nice mic, actually. I didn't think that I could play the game's audio through my headset. Like, I didn't realize I was even a thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are okay with it. Like, I really am sorry about that, though. Gave her lips for days. <laughs> no, I think her lips are fine. Although, can I change the color from here? No. I actually have to go into the extras and change it. Okay. Well, you can't see her ears, which I'll leave her ears alone. Can I? Wait, where was it? Where was it? Oh, there we go. Mm. Let's actually cancel that. Type it again. And... Okay, so yeah, like I have to do it like this. There we go. Now oh, it's a little bit smaller. As beautiful a little bit. as the day we met. Mm, very. Now let's actually take her chin. Let's... Nope, not scale it big. Let's scale it small. And then... Push it up a little bit. That there we go. That's nice. It does look nice. Uh, let me see. Hold on, I got him. I got a. Let me see. Uh, Rhythmic, you said you're opinion on YouTube and Twitch, cat. Hmm. Well, I mean, I really don't have an opinion. I can't stream on YouTube anyway because I don't have, you know, a a working computer and or a capture card, so I really can't give an opinion on streaming through Twitch. Uh, I mean, through YouTube. Excuse me, but yeah. No, I haven't streamed on YouTube before. Okay, I just know about streaming. I just know about it because I've seen it from other people's experiences and things like that. So, I know about streaming, but I have not personally streamed on YouTube yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I feel like I'm making it a little too small around that, around the all jaw over, area. That is the sweetest thing anyone's ever said, ever. Okay, there we go. Buffer up her uh, jawline a little bit because it's a little bit too th too thin for me. Okay. And that, now this makes it go in and out, right? Yep, that makes it go in and out. Let's just exit out of that completely. That way we don't ruin it. Uh, let's scale this. Let's actually make it a little smaller there. And... Bring it, bring it in just a guy, a couple. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. And hold on, is that the whole? No, it's the inner eyebrow. Good, 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 good. Gorgeous. Quit! You're making this difficult for me. All right, hold on. There, out of 
brow. Alright, I think that's good. I think she's good. Mm, don't like how that looks, though. Maybe it's the chin. That looks nice. Okay, now that it looks. That looks good. Um, let's see. Rhythmic, uh, you said... Well, I just wanted an opinion because of the things we were talking about. If you want any Twitch advice, you could talk to me, Kat, or another streamer. If you want advice on YouTube, I can ask a friend. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the reason why me and my, my uh, the person who's hosting me right now, Gamers Platform, his name is Adam. In fact, it was because of him that I liked, I really wanted to stream and everything like that. So basically through him, I had learned a few things. Like I'm still learning a few things, but he's um, he's actually helped me a lot more than usual with a lot of other things. Uh, Tatted Hustler, you said. But yeah, I'm going to try Twitch. Might be nervous my first time. So. No, I totally get it. I was the same way. I was the same way. Like, my very, very, very first stream. And it was a test stream, really. was of, um... <sighs> Technically, my very first stream oh, was, God. um... The Division. But the, the lag was, like, for real. Like, the... It was just lag. Lag, 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 and I, I despised it. I despised it so much. Yes, lipstick. No, no, no. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um. Although, to be honest, the real, true, successful stream I had was Resident Evil Revelations Two, Episode One. I actually played that entire first episode. In one night, and it was the best stream I ever done. <laughs> I loved it. Like that was the best stream. Uh, uh, Glidgy said, "Have you seen images of people who have had way too much plastic surgery?" Not when I wanted to, but yeah, <laughs> that has like I have seen. Unfortunately, I have seen images. Not even when I didn't want to. So. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic, she's looking pretty. Oh, thank you! I'm so happy. And you know, I really like the blue eyes. I want them to have the matching blue eyes. It just seems to work. Hold on a minute. No. 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 No! Ah. No, that's not bad. I'll give her not this. Bad. Whoops. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, indeed, darling. Let's actually do... Let's get rid of that for a second. And let's do one, because that looks good. Uh, let's see. The lady in the media forgot her name. And look him. <laughs> Rhythmic, I love. I played all of RE... Resident Evil Revelations 2, and I loved it. Yeah, like I really wanted to, and I never got the chance, unfortunately, to play all of Revelations 2. But most certainly, I will most certainly be able to one day. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Black actually makes her eyes pop out more. I actually like that. We'll do three, though. Or should I do... Yeah, one and, and three are perfect. No, no lower ones. I think she's good as she you is. So beautiful. She is very pretty. Uh, Glidgy says, it's something that you can't unsee. No, you're right. That is something you truly can't unsee. Oh, she would look so adorable with freckles. Not extremely visible freckles, just very light freckles. Let's do this. Let's do this and see what this looks like. Not too low, but like low enough to where she, like you could still see them, but they're not that visible, you know? Yeah. You can barely see them, but they're there. That is really pretty right there. Boom. Now let's see. Let's do middle and let's actually do that at 45 as well. Just to see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I won't I won't accept it. There, yeah, that's close enough. Her name is Jacqueline Wild Wildenstein? Wild in Wildenstein. There we go. Terrible. <laughs> Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay. No, no, yeah, no, adding the freckles in the middle, as well as the ones on the upper, are really nice. 
The ones in the upper are a little bit darker, though. Or, like, a little bit lighter, I mean. So I think maybe I'll darken them just a little bit. Actually, no. It was at 44. We'll leave it on 43. That's perfect. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I'm liking them teeth, though. See what blemishes that she has on here. Forehead blemishes. Now, let's take them off. Lip color. We, all, we already got lip color already in, installed there, so we'll just leave it alone. Forehead blemishes? Nah. Cheek blemishes? Nah. Take all these blemishes off. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? No. Eyes gone? No. 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 And nope. Alright. Let's see. Rhythmic, uh, you said there was a mod I saw on the mod selection screen. I saw a children mod where the ch uh, characters were replaced by small children. <laughs> That is interesting. Actually, no, there is a um, there is a lot of mods lately where it's called uh, playable mods. Basically, you can select to be pl to either play as a small child, a ghoul, a super mutant, or one of the creatures in the Commonwealth. Like, I think that's very interesting. You know, they they give you these mods out there where you can actually choose between like what creatures you want you want to play as. Actually, giving her a light forehead uh, splotch is not bad. I don't want it too light, though. I'm trying to, like, find a perfect little, like, happy medium here. You like seeing the community come up with... Yeah, they do come up with pretty great ideas, like... It's just amazing. Like, oh, oh my god, the, as good as the day we met. I I didn't fix that. Whoops. Well. Right forehead, it was at twenty percent. But yeah, like I really like seeing stuff like that as well. Like they come up with very interesting ideas as like and like the frost mod. Oh my I god. Still got it. The frost mod looks really like for Fallout Four, the Frost mod looks really good. No. Oh dear, no. 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 Trust me, I love using that on my male character. No. She is not Squall. No. <laughs> I'm not wanting to play Final Fantasy VIII now. Fallout 4. Come on. Nope. 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 Like, now this, I don't mind. I don't mind a little lip cut. Lip scratch. Not bad. Hmm. That one's... No. Nah. Ooh. Now that kind of reminds me of Mass Effect a little bit. <laughs> like Mass Effect 2. Little chin. Wow, that's actually a really big chin scratch, isn't it? And then head burns and cheekburn. Yikes. Nobody wants that. Alright, I think what I am going to do is I might pick... What was it? Not that one. This one seems okay, but no. Nah. We'll do a lip cut, and we'll make it just very, very, like, very soft. That way you can, like, see a little bit of it, but it's not, like, visible. There we go. I mean, 32 is not bad. Apply. Absolutely yeah. lovely. Right? There you go, guys. We're done. There they are. They are gorgeous. Let me just slide in here. Let him, let him just slide in there, honey. See, look at that. They are so cute together. It's perfect. I'm going to change one little thing. It's going to be easy to fix. Don't worry. Just relax, everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just square that up that jaw. Up pretty nice. I've just got to square out that jaw a little bit there, bruh. Just, just make it a little bit more buff and manly. No. My handsome husband. Damn right, girl. Oh, I forgot his neck. Oh my god. <laughs> One of these days, you have you know, you're gonna make characters as ridiculous as possible. Nope, nope, nope. I've already seen people in their crazy ass creations. There is no way in hell I'm gonna do that. Nope. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. Not bad. Not bad. All right, oily, smooth. I'm gonna go wrinkles. As handsome as the day we met. Smooth. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go smooth, because 
He's a smooth offer raper. Okay, come on. All right, go on, shoot, skit, skit. I'm gonna fix her neck because I'm sure she has the option to fix her neck as well. Yep, type. That looks nice. Wrinkle, rigid, light tan, slight rash. Yeah, no, let's just sculpt it. My beautiful wife. I guess that's it. Check her body one last time, then I'll let you guys decide which one of the two we are to play as. Make her just a little bit thinner. I mean, she's I'm already all the way at the thin part as much as possible, but... I really love the dress. Like, that's the casual outfit. That is the casual dress. It's just I have a mod. I think it was the, um... I think it's called 1950s. You know what? Can I pause it? No. I have to double click. Hold on. I'll... I'll just, just hold on. There. I had to double click my home button to be able to get the pause menu to come up. I'm not going to show you all my mods right off hand. It's just there's way too many here. I'm just going to find the one in particular that I'm looking for. It should be all the way at the bottom in segments and health. No. Love this. Anyway. Here it is. This one. 1950s feminine outfits. Um, which basically it takes a lot of the outfits that are in the game. Like for instance, like the trench coat that the uh, vault tech uh, wreck guy is wearing at the very beginning. If you put that on a female, it would look just like the male's version. But if you put this mod on and you put that exact same trench coat on, um, but yeah, if you put that, if you use this mod with that trench coat, it basically turns it into like it's it, she's wearing a dress with the trench coat. She's got the black uh, stockings on, and the high heels. Like it's it's perfect. Like this actually changes a lot of the female outfits, not all of them, but the majority of the of the outfits for the female body into more. Feminine, sexy-looking outfits that actually fit the time period, which is the reason why I really liked it. So, it's really nice. It does change a lot of the outfits on here. And, yeah. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Rhythmic. Oh my god, that's a lot. You'll have to recommend me some when stream ends. Yeah, no, totally. Like, there's, like I said, there's still a lot I'm testing with here. I might actually go in and out, like, and actually remove some. There's, like, a few of them that I need to remove after I properly uninstall them through the actual in-game playthroughs. Like, there's some that you can't uninstall unless you're actually physically playing the game like I am right now. I can't do it through the mod menu. Um, Gluji says, either way, uh, I always, either way, put way too long... Uh, into making them look as good as possible or spend way too long making them look ridiculous as possible. Yeah, like me, I love making them look good. Actually, no, let's do it like this. Ta-da! She's pretty. I actually really like how she came out. And you know what? Blonde actually works for her. Like, damn! Just another minute, I swear. <laughs> and, you know, he looked good, too. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, he really does look good, too. Like, he looks really innocent. That's <laughs> sad. Alright, guys. Who do you guys want me to play as? Female or male? Like, that's the question. Now that they are both together, they are both awesome, tastic, and beautiful as they are, which character are we going to play as? Let me actually look at this real quick. He wouldn't punch a fly. <laughs> <laughs> that username oh my goodness welcome <laughs> welcome to the stream uh big papa fat lard welcome 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 to the stream uh you say girl hmm that is a good choice it is so hard to choose especially because they both look so good hmm wait what color is his hair again i for i forget i'm an awful person it's why Light brown. Okay, no, yeah, light brown works. Hmm. But yeah, like, this is... Okay, so you you pick female, okay? So that's one vote for female. Who else Who else wants to vote here? Like, if I had, like, a little poll thing, it'd be much easier, but unfortunately, Twitch doesn't do that thing, and plus, I am not streaming this through a capture card or nothing. I'm streaming it through the console, so I can't do any of that fancy smanchy stuff yet. Although, I'll tell you what, guys, when I do get a capture card in a, in a working computer and I finally am able to do it through there, I'll tell you one thing. 
I've got so many cool notifications. You guys are gonna love them. I like. I worked really hard on all my notifications and stuff. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Rhythmic. Hmm. I can help you get Nightbot set up later. Well, see, I'm streaming it through the console. I don't think I'll be able to actually set all that stuff up because I'm streaming it through the actual Twitch app on the console. I would have to actually like, from what I understand, you would need like a lot of the people I've been looking at like for advice for, they all say, capture card, you need a capture card, capture card, nah, nah, nah. And I'm like, well, damn, guys, thanks. <laughs> uh, so, Gluji, you say female because the cold never... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> the cold never bothered me anyway. She does look like Elsa. Oh, my God, I can't believe you put that damn image in my head, Gluji. Thanks. Uh, so you, um, Big Papa, um, Gluji, and Javens, you also say, uh, female. Uh, Rhythmic, you say, it's fine, I have no capture card and have, like, three bots. Like, really? That can actually work? That's weird. Like, every other, like, every other Twitch website I've looked at, like, every other advice for Twitch I've looked at, everyone's like, you need a capture card. I'm like, is that real? Yeah, no, we'll talk about that. Okay, Rhythmic, like, later, go ahead and whisper that to me, like, for later, and we'll totally talk about that, because I really am curious. I want to set up something, at least, to make it interesting. <laughs> or try to make it interesting. So, okay, so no more dialogue, unfortunately, will be, will be said every time I switch characters. That's actually the last of the dialogue. So, there you have it. So, a lot of you guys have been picking females. So, that's four votes. And I'm going to assume Rhythmic, you will say female too, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nate, my my hubby, my bro, my boo. We're going to be picking a female character. Damn it, Gluji, I swear to God, we're going to call her Elsa. Damn it, her name is Elsa. Confirm character. Uh. The alternative start mod. Definitely did not work. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. You begin to notice that this isn't reality. It is a dream or something from a memory. This is only a dream. I need to wake up. This is a memory. I don't want to relive this. This is a memory. Let's stay here for a while. Okay, so... Hey, Shadow Dragon! Welcome! So everyone... Okay, wow. Everyone's picking females here. <laughs> Alright, well, luckily for me, we just picked a female. That was, that was like the highest voted one anyways. Which is okay. And we're going to freaking name her Elsa, damn it. Her name's Elsa now. Oh my god. I swear to god, Gluji. Mm, if, I could just, if I could just punch you in the shoulder. <laughs> Alright, so doing this, we'll just play the game like we normally do. We would continue, then get into the vault. This will take us straight to the, vo to the vault. And this one will start us up alternatively. So I think this one is the one that will start us with the actual true alternative path. So we'll do the It's Only a Dream, I Need to Wake Up. The last thing you remembered, I was in the Commonwealth and had just stopped to rest. The bombs were falling, and I had just entered a pod in the vault. Okay, so I think that actually continues us from the vault. And I was in the Commonwealth and had just stopped to rest. Well, hold on. Wait, let's go back. This is a memory I don't want to really... Okay, so yeah. Let's do this. I was in the Commonwealth and had just stopped to rest is what we're going to do. Uh, let's see see... Gluji, your male character looks like an older ginger version of my friend. <laughs> well, what's funny is that that hair color is, like, light brown, and it does- it did look like a little- it looked a little red, and I think it might be because my character's skin color was, like, a little dark. <laughs> I don't know. Like, his skin t color was tanned or something. But yeah, you're here, Shadow Dragon. I'm so happy. Yay! Alright, we're gonna do, uh, I was in the Commonwealth and I just stopped to rest. That's what we're gonna start with. That's the alternative start. Um, oh, you stir in your sleep, pondering the big questions of life. What makes me special? What are my unique traits? What am I doing with my life? Well, where was I, really? I'm still not satisfied with the way I need to go back. Okay, what makes me special? Alright, you guys can't see me type this in. I blame you, Gluji. All right. <laughs> She's got shitty luck, that's for certain. Cole never bothered her anyway. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's got pretty good strength, if you really think about it. 
with her magic abilities. Hmm. This is sad. I'm trying to make a frozen character now because of Gluji. Blame Gluji, everyone! Blame him! It's his fault! He's the one who said Cole never bothered her anyway. It's his fault! <laughs> oh my god, I'm a pathetic person. Okay. We'll take the agility down by one more. That way we have a couple more points. I'll do it one more in intelligence, and I'll go ahead and give her one more in perception. I mean, <laughs> Hashtag blame Gluji. <laughs> Alright. There's what makes me special. What are my unique traits? Broad soldier, bruiser, claustrophobia, early bird, fat metazzle. Oh, wow, these are nice. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. These are um these are from Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god. Damn. Fallout New Vegas, bruh. <laughs> Javen's like, oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Rhythmic hello, let, let, let it be a trend. I let it trend. Gluji, aren't we all pathetic? No, you guys are not pathetic. If you got if if you guys No. You guys are here which makes you awesome tastic. I'm pathetic because I think of these things. <laughs> these other things like in game. So that makes me pathetic. Gifted. What does gifted do? Like, oh my god, I'm trying to remember from Fallout New Vegas, because these are actually traits. In New Vegas. Now, some of these I haven't heard of. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, some of these I haven't heard of from what I remember. But some of these, like, Good Natured, Four Eyes, Kamikaze, Loose Cannon, like, uh, Trigger Discipline. Like, I actually remember those from New Vegas. That was, like, one of the first couple traits you could pick from. When, like, Fast Shot. Like, I mean, some of these are, these are definitely all, hmm. I know it. I know what some of these are. Like, f okay, four eyes is obvious. You need to have glasses. So your perception or your precipitation actually goes up by like t one or two or something like that. Um, and I think good natured means like anytime you help, like your charisma is so good. Like every time you help people, you actually, you know, you get cash and stuff for that. Like you're really a genuinely good person. Kamikaze, obviously, you just go head first shooting like it's crazy and you could get yourself killed i think like your hp is like more like it's it's higher something like that like i actually remember these from new vegas like oh my god i love that game i miss new vegas uh let's see rhythmic everyone who joins is amazing just blame her thought process not everyone is perfect <laughs> i forgot oh oh javon's uh, javon's like i forgot the g all right rip <laughs> indeed you did Hashtag Gluji did nothing wrong. There we go. <laughs> Hashtag Gluji did frozen. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are awesome. Oh, I remember. Okay, now small frame. I remember small frame. Small frame is where um, your strength goes down by negative one, or and your um, you can carry less weight. So yeah, like I like. Oh my god, I remember some of these. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do, I might do good natured, just cause. You guys, you guys understand. I can't be evil. I can't. I don't even. I forgot what gifted did. Like ugh, I know these traits, and I wish I, I wish it would tell me. But see, oh, well there we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, you have more innate abilities than most, so you have not spent as much time honing your skills. You gain a permanent plus two to each special stat. But game experience at half the normal rate. Wow. That's not me. Let's actually look at all these. Broad shoulders. Plus 25 carrying capacity, plus 15 in survival mode. But due to your high center of gravity, you're more likely to stagger. Wow. No. Bruiser. Slower. A little bit bigger. You may not hit as often, but you will feel it, as when it, well, you, will feel it when you do. Power attacks deal 30% more damage. But cost 30% more. Uh, Rhythmic says, if you can't be evil, I'll be the evil one. <laughs> Claustrophobia. You have a fear of enclosed spaces. You gain plus one to all special stats when outside, but suffer negative one when indoors. 
early bird. Obviously, that's when you wake up early in the morning. Uh, attributes a plus or enjoy a plus two to each of your at special attributes from six to twelve, but suffer negative one from six to six uh, six p.m. to six a.m. when you're not at your best. Gluji's like hashtag Gluji doesn't like it when hashtags are way too long, so that no spaces make them difficult. <laughs> makes them difficult to read. Oh, that's why you kept the first letter to the tag. <laughs> Everything's like, oh my god. Um, this means you have uh, you are half as resist to radiation poison, but your body heals double the normal. Yeah, I'm glad that they're telling me. Like, I was actually afraid that they weren't going to give me a description. Uh, you don't have time to aim for a target because your target and your attack faster than normal. Range attacks fire twenty percent AP. Are cost twenty percent lower, and you have twenty percent less accuracy. Finesse. You don't do much damage. Negative thirty for normal. Damn, that's a lot of damage, though. Uh, that's that's negative. But you cause more critical, which is ten percent each time. Uh, four eyes is obvious. While wearing glasses or goggles, you have plus one precipitation. Without eyewear, you suffer negative one. See, I was right. Gifted. That does. Plus two to every attribute, special attribute, but I gain half the experience. I uh, have half the normal rating. Uh, rhythmic, you said every word needs one cap. Or, yeah, rhythmic. Sorry. Every word needs one cap during a tag, so it's not hard to read. That is true. <laughs> uh, Shadow, you said so. I decided not to stream on the 16th since I have early access uh, for the new Mass Effect. It's not fair for others that have to wait for the 20th or 21st, so I'll stream it on the 20th since that's Canada's release date. Uh, yeah, that's true for me. I actually, mine's released on the 21st as well. I'm actually going to pick it up on the 20th uh, at midnight, so that is definitely what I'm going to be doing. Rhythmic, I'll, I hope I'll to see it. Actually, yes, that's another thing, guys. Real quickly, uh, real quickly, let me give you a quick heads up when it comes to Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, which will be released on the 21st. I am going to pick it up on the 20th at midnight, and from the 21st to, like, the 25th or 26th, depends. Um, between, yeah, between the 21st to the 25th or 26th, I will be streaming nothing but Mass Effect Andromeda for you guys. Like, that will be the game. No one's gonna get on the console, no one's gonna be doing anything. I am going to be straight up playing Mass Effect Andromeda for that week. Like, literally, that's Mass Effect Andromeda week. The end. That's all you gotta know. That's like that's the end of the update. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, you study less combative skills as you were growing up. People are twenty percent easier to pers persuade. Vendors' prices are twenty percent better, but your overall damage is reduced by fifteen. Like that. That's me right there. I actually picked that on my New Vegas run, which was good natured. So I think that's what I'm gonna probably do. I don't. I don't want to go through all of these. I'll actually just go ahead and do good natured because that is. Who I am. Like, that's that's me. I am good nature. That's me. Um, can I pick more than one or no? Well, I'll just say I'm done. I think I can only pick one. It says traits. As in more than one. I would love to pick another one. But I'm afraid that it will overwrite the one that I just picked. So I think I'm just going to go pick good natured and just leave it at that. What am I doing with my life? I'm a vault enthusiast, I'm a survivor, I'm a scavenger, I'm a hunter, I'm a raider, I'm a mechanic, I'm a gangster, I'm a trader, I'm a farmer, I'm a drunk, I'm a doctor, I'm a scientist, I'm a mercenary, I'm a ball player. Oh my god. So many choices. So many choices. <sighs> Rhythmic, I'm a raider. <laughs> Kappa. Hmm. I do wonder, what could she be? Like, what is really good for this character? And I know, like, I'm, I'm naming her... I'm naming her Elsa, so... Um, Rith... Uh, no, excuse me. Shadow, you said, are, are you doing anything special for your Mass Effect stream? Unfortunately, I wish I was. But I don't think I can do anything. Like, I don't know what I can do that's special. I mean, I honestly don't know. The only thing I can say is that for my default... Like, for... I'm gonna pick... I'm gonna play as a male character. I'm gonna keep his face as default. I might actually look through the options. But I really like the default uh, bro rider face. Because he is cute as fuck. So I'm gonna keep his face as default. And the only problem I'm having now is that I don't know if I want to keep his default name, which is Scott. Or if I want to change it to Connor. Which is a name I've been thinking about for a while. So... 
I really don't know. Uh, let's see. Gluji, well, I got a ghost. Oh, it's too bad. You could have helped me continue to pick which one to pick here. I don't know which one to pick. Not a raider. Can't be a raider. <laughs> Rhythmic six hour stream for the new Mass Effect game. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I really don't know. God, this is so difficult to choose. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just say that I am a Let's say I'm an explorer. That's it? Really? What am I doing with my life? That's it? God, this is so difficult! If I was playing a male character, I'd be a mercenary. Like, if I was playing as Garrett right now, my, which is my red-headed character, which, by the way, I changed his hairstyle. He looks sexy as hell. Anyway, but yeah, he would be a mercenary. Like, in another canon, he would probably be a mercenary. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Gucci did frozen. <laughs> Hashtag Gucci did frozen. He did. He did, though. <laughs> Alright. Okay. You know what? We'll go ahead and say that she's a drifter. We'll just leave it at that. Where was I really? I was near Vault 111. I was in a basement shelter. I was in a robot junkyard. I was in an old ranger cabin. Raider gang. Red Rocket Conquered. Wow. I can pick? I can pick where I was? <gasps> the Glowing Sea! Ah, oh, I was monitoring Quincy. Ah, oh, so many choices. Let's see. Uh, Rhythmic Stop By again. So, yep. Uh, and Shadow says, I'm giving out two in seven hoodies. Both are large and may be something else. Really? Exactly! Rhythmic just took the freaking words of my mouth. Really? Now see, I would love to do something, but sadly I can't do giveaways. I, I don't have enough money and things like that to do giveaways, unfortunately. Which really sucks because I would love to do that. And sadly I can't. I can't do that. It just, oh, it stinks. I can't do anything. Like, I can't do anything really cool and interesting like most people do. I'm kind of stuck on the bottom of the fish barrel when it comes to things like that, so. I'm like the little tiny small fry in a sea of ginormous sharks. <laughs> Can't. Alright, I think we'll go with the old ranger cabin. Maybe. Possibly. That Quincy one looking good, though. Okay, no. Old ranger cabin. There. Done. Um, I think that's everything. It says... I'm reading. All right, so okay. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic, real quickly. But I'll read this and then I'll I'll go over what we, what I've done. Uh, Rhythmic, you said I would like to do stuff uh, like enter giveaways or do giveaways, but sadly I have nothing to give since that's all going away. That is true. I'm the same way. Like I would love to give something to somebody. Like I would love to do giveaways, but I personally also have nothing to give, unfortunately. So, um, let's see. Shadow, you said yeah. I bought two hoodies today. So, just a heads up. See, yeah, like, I would love to do something like that. Like, something small, just like that, you know, with the hoodies and everything. But I can't, unfortunately. I either, one, don't make enough money to, to be able to do something like that. Or, two, I'm not really that big. Like, I really, unfortunately, have nothing to give but myself. Only thing I can do is these gameplays for you guys. That's all I can do. Alright, so we do have our special, which I'm afraid if I click it again, it's going to mess it up, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, my unique trait is good-natured. I am a drifter, and I was, uh, I'm in an old ranger cabin is where I'm at. So, that's my entire setup. Her character's name is Elsa. Because of Gluji. He's not here anymore. Blame him. <laughs> Let it go, let it go, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't want to wake up my niece because I'm freaking singing Frozen right now. Anyways, enough. I'm ready to wake up. Please don't crash. 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 
Don't crash. That card, though. Shadow's like, I love your streams. Oh, thank you, Shadow. Whoa! Look at me. I am awesome tastic. First, though, we have got to get rid of that hat. Just no. All right. So, out of time says explore the area. Rumor of a vault. Of uh, search for the of uh, uh sir search for the vault. And yeah, that's it's easy to do. So we'll toggle that one and that one, and we'll go on the map. That's it. All right, so here we are. Gosh, she's gorgeous. All right, so let me just. That's okay. That's my melee weapon. All right, go back over, and we're gonna put that here. Nope. No, I personally don't have a problem with fedoras. I think fedoras are cool. It's just unfortunately it clips, and her hair her hairstyle clips with the fedora. So unfortunately, Rhythmic, she can't wear the fedora because it clips, unfortunately. Here, well, I'll show you. See? That's the only issue with with these particular hairstyles is that it clips, like, awfully. So unfortunately, she cannot wear the hat. But if I do have a different hairstyle, I would definitely, um, definitely wear it instead. Ooh! Excellent. Permanent plus, or uh, per uh, permanently take 5% less damage from melee. Nice. That is true. Like, I'm the same way um, when it comes to uh, certain hats. However, though, uh, there are certain hairstyles that either, one, come with customized hats made onto that certain hairstyle, or two... Oh, I want to make sure I'm ready. Or two... Um, or there's hairstyles that actually do work with the hats in the game. Like, um, I think the ones that look more like Laura Croft's hairstyles, and there was the very, very, very first hairstyle I picked for my very first female character. Um, that actually was, um, those, those hats actually worked for those hairstyles. So there are hairstyles that do work for the hats in-game, just not all of them. Any more? No? Oh, the radiation. Oh, the rads. The rads are real. Anything for this stuff, though. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, God, run. Oh, my AP, though. Ah, it all disappeared. Oh, okay. Good, we're back. This happens to me sometimes. I don't know why this area disappears like this. Actually, reload. I really like this lowered weapons. That actually looks nice. It's all over. This one's rigged. Yes, yeah, son. Take this 10 millimeter pistol. And, ooh. Uh, Shadow, you said, I got to go out tomorrow to get the other three giveaways. I saw these two Mass Effect um, stuffies. What? I know, yes. right? Like, I want- I want the pops. Like, I love the Funko Pops, but they're not ready yet. Like, they're not out yet, and stuff like that. But, god, it's just- it's just so many good things coming out. Ooh, medics. I'll take that off your hands. <laughs> My dog just went <sighs> right behind me. Like, really? Really, Luna? My Luna Pie. She's so cute. Alright, I think this one's an empty house. The fuck was that? Oh, you're not Steve. Go away. You're not Steve. Steve's a cute rad roach. 
Unlike you guys. You guys are big and ugly. Huh. Ow, chest breach reference. Yay! Hmm. I just want to buy stuff. What in the hell? Go away, you disgusting things. You are not Steve. Leave me alone. God. Anyway. As I was reading. Lock tight. Lock tight. Of course it is. I just want to buy stuff, but I have no room to buy stuff or any money to spend at the moment. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, I'm trying to save my money is what I'm trying to do. Because I am trying to get me a, um, a working laptop and a, uh, and a capture card. Which, capture cards are not expensive. I know the one I'm going to get. The one I want to get is actually inexpensive. It's only $60, if that. Which, it's a really good one, too. It's actually one of the ones that are um, very... I guess you could say... Well, not popular. Oh! Hi, Cogsworth. Good for a robot that survived an atomic war. Thank you, Mom. Why, but you look distraught. Perhaps Sir can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Oh, Mom, these things you're saying, these. Terrible things. I, I believe you'll need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? And just who is this Sean, anyway? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. I don't understand what's going on. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. All right, doing our very first quick save. Uh, let me stop for a second. Actually, I'll let me pause because I know they'll talk during the whole waiting thing there. Uh, let me see. Um, Rhythmic, I can get one for 50 and it's the Elgato. Yes! That's right. That's actually the one I'm talking about. The Elgato is um, the one I'm thinking of. Um, which, you're right, it is. It actually is about 50. And I think, actually, no, now that I think about it, I think it's like 40, almost 45 to 50 uh, where my, at my store. Uh, Shadow, you said, I just haven't figured out what the big giveaway will be. Mm, good question, says Rhythmic. That is, a, that is a very good question. So the giveaways will be on the 21st when I stream Mass Effect. That's nice. See, now here you go, guys. On Shadow Dragon Jamie 34s channel, on their Twitch channel, they will be streaming Mass Effect, and they will be having a giveaway. Free, uh, free, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Free advertisement. There you go. <laughs> Rhythmic's like I'll watch. I think I'll be str I think I'll be late at night when I stream that game. So, but yeah, I'm very excited. I cannot wait. Oh my god, <laughs> we'll be playing as Bro Rider. <laughs> all the jokes, all the puns are gonna come out. Codsworth, you're oh acting god. a little weird. What's wrong? I, I, uh, Mom, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish Rust. 
Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tank. I believe so was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Okay, so uh, let's go, Cosworth. I suppose. Okay, I'm making sure my mic is on this time. We found them too, Cosworth. I guess. Let me get a shot off. Really, Cogsworth? Hey, Codsworth. Mom, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. Yeah, you, uh, you go out that door, Cogsworth. I'm gonna grab me this Nuka Cola and this pork and beans. Like, mmm. No. Follow, me. Follow you? Sure. You can, uh,. Get out of there fast enough. There we go. Come on. Show me the house. Ugh. Aren't there other survivors? What about Compton, Mum? A few people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Why, well, thank you, Cosworth. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shadow Dragon Jamie says, But I'll let you, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know when the big giveaway, uh, what the big giveaway is tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Rhythmic hints why I saved the link. Yay! I'm so happy we're all working together. It's just amazing. Hold on a minute. No, Nuka Cola! Shut that fridge. Baby bottle. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay, sure. Wow, like, that's, that's just awful. But again, we're supposed to be an alternative character who knows nothing about the family who lived here. So we have never in our lives have ever seen or heard a lick about this place before. It's like this is the first time we've ever experienced it. <gasps> Ooh, I'll take that dress. Thank you. I know a certain detective who would like that. <laughs> That's right. I've got the Nick Valentine romance mod! Ha 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 He is a very, very handsome detective. Okay, just shh, leave me alone. Yep, see here, look, the yellow trench coat. If I put that on her right now, she would actually, uh... 
she would actually look like she was wearing it, like a feminine version of it, not this, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Not the, uh, regular male version that they had in the base game. Let's actually do third person for a minute. <laughs> That's right, Rhythmic. <laughs> Alright, let's actually see here. Um, let's do the dress. Nick Valentine. <laughs> right? Alright, now, see here, yeah, see, she's got the more feminine version. She's got high heels, she's got stock, like, black stockings. It's just, it look good. That look good! Alright, but this is better. Damage resistance and all that good jazz. Hmm. Which actually... Let me see if I can actually do this here. Right here? No, here. I can now use the Sanctuary Workshop. Yeah, 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 we know. Bada bing, bada boom, I can do anything I damn well please. Anyway, I know where all the stuff is. Let's go and get it and clear up this junk while we're at it. Move all these bushes. Nobody wants these bushes here. Nobody likes them. Everyone hates them. Anyway, grab you. Let's go. Run, hop, skip. Jump. Go fast. Out of breath. I know. I know. Wow. This place is already almost full. That's redonkulous. We can fix it. Who can fix it? We will. I just need to remember where I need to go for this stuff. Uh, one circuitry. Nope, wrong one. Settlement supplies. C. Circuitry. We'll take that, thank you. Go all the way down to this. And we'll take that, thank you. And then I think right around here was the... No, where was it? Uh, let's see. Shadow, he says, I'm just uh, deciding uh, either a special um, Mass Effect an edition Mass Effect game or the collector's box edition that comes with the Mako car toy. Mmm. Ah, that's interesting. I actually heard that I think one of those Mass Effect Andromeda boxes actually doesn't come with the game, but it does come with the the RC vehicle, I think. Not not putting too close to it, but it's just what I heard. Mm, Rhythmic says, I say the collector's box edition, it's for a collection, yeah? Then might as well spend money on it. If you don't want it, you can spend less. Doesn't matter, though. It's very interesting, though. It's a very interesting idea. This is the camera I like, and then we'll grab the default camera just in case. Ha 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 ha! No, not this time around. Alright, let me see something here. And then stim packs right here. See my perk chart. Almost leveled up. Mhm. Mm and this allows unlimited building. Thank you. Runaways hollow tape.
Will anything ever be right again? God, that ain't a bottle of depressing and everything wrapped up in one. See, I always love that. Like, that's one of my favorite hollow tapes in this whole game, and it's just so bittersweet, you know? It's just odd. Can't explain it any better than that. Uh, Shadow, you said, yeah, but uh, they're not for me. I'll give uh, the big giveaway one of the two games editions, I said. Hmm. I mean, I can't personally help you with that, unfortunately. I wish I could, but... Like, if I were to do a giveaway, I wouldn't know what kind of giveaway to, to do. Like, I would think something similar. Like, yeah, like, maybe give away... Like, that's the thing when people do when they give away anything. It's, they're giving away copies of the game. Or they're giving away merchandise of the like that's based off the game they're playing. You know? Or they give away, um, like, Steam codes for said games. You know, if that's, if I think if that's allowed and stuff, so... Yep, I'll take that. Take that Radix. Take that Salisbury stick. Nope. Nice. Yep, take this camping book. That way I can do camping inside of, um... That's really strong. That's pretty strong, ain't it? Instamash! Purified water! Cram! Mmm! Yum food. Ammo. Blanco cheese. Beer bottle. Lots of gold. And the python and Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl. I was actually watching The Walking. I was actually catching up on The Walking Dead today with my sister. Oh my god, that last episode with Michonne and Rick. Mm mm. <laughs> I'm awful. I'm so awful. Uh, let's see. Rhythmic says, then just do the special ones. Unless you want to give someone that thing, then do whatever. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, like I was I was catching up on The Walking Dead uh recently and Oh my god. Carl I swear that is one of the most most memorable things about that show is because of Andrew Lincoln yelling Carl just how he does it. Oh my god. I really love that guy. Like, he's one of my favorite actors. You know, besides uh, Norman Reedus, who does, um... Uh, who does Daryl, who's, my god, my number one favorite. He's my boo. Daryl's my boo. Hold on a minute now. <laughs> Hashtag blame Carl. What in the world... I can't get rid of these vines? Like, do I have to be at a weird angle? Like, look, I'm far away now. Does this work? You know, I'm not gonna even try. I'm just I'm not- I'm done. Done trying. I'm trying to think of, like, one of those dank memes, like, like, with- when he says Carl instead of, you know, Carl. I don't know, like, I'm trying to think of one, and it's just, it's hard. it's not working. Because I'm not good at creating dank memes off the top of my head. 
Oh, but I love, 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 love The Walking Dead. God, I'm just so happy I finally caught up with it, though. Like, it, it's, it was so long. Like, there was, like, maybe four weeks, unfortunately, that I missed of the show. So I'm just, like, standing here trying to remember what happened and, and remember what's going on. And sadly, that never came to light, as you can tell. I'm so many weeks behind. I finally was able to catch up on everything tonight. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, the vault. Right. Let's actually go check out that vault. And let's switch the camera angle. So now we got a nice camera angle here. <laughs> Finding Carl. <laughs> Potato chips, Carl. Carl. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm an awful person. I'm awful. Alright, here we go. So I don't know what's going to happen when we get up here. In fact, hold on. Now we have two different versions of this gun. Uh, this this person who are who or who made this mod for the, the gun. There's the regular mod or the regular version, and then the OP version. Which you can you all can hate me for. I'm gonna use the damn OP version. I might as well. Uh, Shadow, you said, are you streaming? Yes, I am streaming tomorrow. I am streaming tomorrow for certain. Hmm. Take that. Take that. Take that. And around here is a backpack. Explorer's backpack! Uh, I don't know about the holster. Come on, I want to get in the box. Thank you. I'll take the holster and the outfit, just in case. And all this. And... Uh... Into the vault! Alright, can I do this before... It happens. Alright. Well, unfortunately, all this is weak. Okay, now that makes me naked. Which, luckily for me, that day, like, it was a few like a few days ago or so, I had, I was playing the, um, the Synthetic Love mod, which, uh, adds, uh, Nora to the game for your male character. And, um, I thought, like, I don't know why, but some part of me was like, oh my god, these characters, like, the male characters have no clothes on, and that's not true. Turns out, it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. At least that's what it looked like, so. I'd rather be safe than sorry about it, though. So, unfortunately, the drifter outfit cannot wear this. And I bet you can't wear the backpack either. Nope. Trench coat? Nope. Nothing can wear the backpack. Except the Explorer outfit, which I'm going to use Drifter for a while anyways, because, like, damn, look at the stats. It's way better than this. Nice. Please don't crash. If it crashed on me, guys, I'm sorry. Hey, Lady Willow! Welcome! I was just doing a quick mod test. Uh, yeah, I was like, I'm testing a mod out that I just installed. It's the alternative start mod. I am a drifter who started off at a cabin not too far from here. And we created this lovely female right here. And because of another viewer who was in the stream earlier, he accidentally le he actually left. Because of him, I now cannot look at this character the same way. She is now named Elsa. For obvious reasons. <laughs> she is Elsa. And I blame I blame Gluji. Everyone blame Gluji. He's not here, but still blame him because it's his fault. I now can see nothing but Elsa when I look at this character. <clears throat> what in the world? What the fuck? Carl! Who else wants to mess with me and my Carl gun? Huh? I know her hair is the best. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Carl! Carl! I swear, every time I shoot this gun, I'll just yell Carl. 
I blame, I blame Gucci. I, I, nope, nope, I, no, actually, no, I, I that's the, that's the, that's the mod author himself. I should blame. Um, Shadow, you said, but I'll let you know when I get, uh, when I stream on, or when I get on tomorrow, your, your stream with the big giveaway is. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, Willow, um, Shadow, Dragon, Jamie here. They're actually going to be streaming Mass Effect Andromeda as well as I am on the 21st. And they, um, are actually, when, when they stream it, they've got a big giveaway that they're doing. Um, I'm not, ex they're not exactly sure what the big one of the give uh, what the big giveaway is, but they definitely have a giveaway that they're doing. So, keep an eye out. Yay! Thank you, Rhythmic. What in the world? Okay, for a second, I thought that was a robot. I don't know why. I was thinking, like, what the hell's wrong with my eyeballs? Carl! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, nope. Ooh. Let me get this. Bloop. I shall eject that tape. Thank you. Anything in here? Anything in here? No? Yay? No? Okay, fine. Ooh, wait. Mirror? Wow, it's one toilet. How can how can all these people share that one toilet? What am I saying? It, it's a dystopia, of course. Everyone will learn how to share one toilet. I'm an awful person. Anyways, I don't think there's anything. Oh my god, I really miss my, uh... Wow, it's super bright. Okay, no. I know, right, Willow? Like, I can't wait. Like, I really want to see their stream as well. Although, I think I'll be streaming at the same time as they are, so... I don't know. I think... Okay, no. So... Why would vault Tech do this? Huh. He's d he's d Look at him, it's d it's default! It's by default, it's not- It's not the Nate that I made! No! <laughs> it's okay though, guys. It's okay though, guys. Still. All that work. All that work I put into my male character and now look at him. I can't- He's just- No. No. All that work I put into my male character and the alternative start mod made him the ow. Made him default. Like, really? Carl! Ah! There. Melee every one of you. Now you're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> uh, Willow, you said... Uh, you can get the game, hun. I had to cancel. <gasps> you had to cancel? Oh, That sucks that you had to cancel your game, hun. That really sucks. Like, damn. Mm -mm -mm. What happened here? Where is everyone? Oh, here we go. Um, Shadow, you said, so a recap. Four small giveaways, which are two N7 hoodies in size large and two Mass Effect plushies and a big giveaway. Plushies are fun. They are fun. Plushies are fun. You forgot how to spell things. Aww. But, but seriously, though, that sucks that you had to cancel your game. Nice. Coming back later for you. <laughs> Wait, empty. Bobby Pin! The game. 
Let's see if I can snipe him off the wall. Coral! 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 Oh my god, I can't freaking... There. You cry. I know that- no, that's making me upset, because now we can't- we can't play Mass Effect Andromeda together. <gasps> Nora! Oh my god, hold on a minute. No, I just wanna- Nora! <laughs> no! Nora! Nora! Oh my god, no! Nora! Oh! No! Pod C6 audio log. Uh, her, her wedding ring. Uh, and her jumpsuit, which I will leave alone. Well, actually, hold on. Let's transfer. Let's see what's so sp it's it's Apparently it's got a plus sign next to it. I don't know if that means I can... Right? Oh my god, Will. I'm so... Uh, it's just so awful, you know? It sucks. It sucks. Fixed. I was gonna tell you to jump on Mass Effect and drama to... But you, right? I would love to have done multiplayer with you. Especially on Andromeda, because I haven't done multiplayer on the third game, unfortunately. I'm hoping to now that I'm... Hopefully I'm allowed to now. I mean, I don't know. With EA and everything. <sighs> Nora! This was not... This was not how it was supposed to go for you. This was not how it was supposed to end. <laughs> sucks! Uh, poor Nora. I can't, I can't even look at her. Like, if I could just get your husband out of cryostasis and put you next to him, like... We can still play in Mass Effect multiplayer. Yes, like, that is one thing I am looking forward to. Especially with, um... Mass Effect 3. I need to get that. I actually have the game installed, I just haven't gotten the time to sit down with it and stuff. Which sucks. But, um... Let's see. I play with Tammy, Aileen, and Christian with, uh, with Rachel all the time. I know, like, I really wanted to get into that whole action with you guys, but unfortunately I never got the chance to. Like, for some reason, I think when I tried doing the Mo Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, it kept saying like something like I wasn't allowed to play, even though I had internet access and I was allowed, like, I had Xbox Gold and everything. Like, for some reason, it wouldn't let me play online with multiplayer for some weird reason. I don't know. Um, Shadow, Dragon Jamie, you said, no, it's not Carl... It's that cone from Fallout 3 that made copies of himself. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, I know what you're talking about. Uh, his name was... Oh my god, I know what his name was. His name was Gary! His name was Gary. His name was Gary. I remember Gary. Gary. Nobody can forget Gary. <laughs> Gary. Can't believe I remember that bastard. Because I'm an awful woman. <laughs> Gary. Uh, let's see. Willow, you said. Well, let me know when you can, and I'll jump on when you can. Thank you. Hopefully we can do that later tonight here. I'm, I'm hoping, anyways. It's already midnight and everything. But I'm hoping we can. Uh, you also asked, did I download all the multiplayer DLCs? I actually don't know. Um... I really don't know what multiplayer maps I have, so really can't remember. Uh, let me see, Willow. You said you name all your roaches Jimmy. <laughs> the only rad roach that comes to mind for me is Steve, and I blame Al Chestbreach because Al Chestbreach actually has, and he's a he's a YouTuber. Al Chestbreach has a uh, rad roach companion named Steve, and he's the smallest rad roach in the game. Like, he was modded to be super small and adorable. And I love Steve. I love Steve. Because he's so cute and little and teeny weeny. And sadly, all these rad roaches here are big and ugly and just ugh. Ugh. One coffee mug to rule them all. I'm taking it. <laughs> All right, but let's listen to this audio tape here. I never have a chance. Let's let's put it in. This is what Nora had on her.
That basically tells us everything we need to know. <laughs> Willow, throw it in the fire. I shall. I shall travel to Mordor and I shall throw it in the fire. <laughs> Where would Mordor be in the Fallout 4 here? <laughs> like, what What good place would we even consider Mordor? Like, wow, well, no. <laughs> Definitely not Diamond City. <laughs> Definitely not Diamond City. Okay, let's see what, we, what I've collected here. So, I did pick up the vault suit. Uh, I have the female wedding ring. I don't have the male's husband's wedding ring, so I can't do that. I'll go ahead and, and uh, I'll go ahead and put it on. And I can't wear the fedora because, unfortunately, for my other viewers, this is what happens with this hair mod. But luckily, there are other hair mods I could wear, just not that one. So drifter outfit's gonna come off, and we're gonna just there. I got the vault suit on now. I would love to continue wearing the uh, the drifter outfit because that's what my character is is a drifter, but unfortunately, eh, well, I need I need to wear an outfit that I can wear armor to. So and pop into existence. There we go. It happens every time I come down this damn hill. And it turns out it happens every time I come out from over there too. Alright. So I think from here the story should play out normally. I think, anyways. But let me see. What can I do? What can I... Carl! <laughs> the gun's called Carl. So, I actually got it. I actually, that's actually a mod itself. It's a Colt Python and uh, handgun, which I actually really like that type of weaponry. It's actually a really cool handgun. So, it kind of reminds me of the Dan Weston's airsoft guns, because uh, it looks really cool. It just looks really cool. Um, yeah, no, I think we're good. I think I have everything I need, right? I think so. Coral. <laughs> oh my god! I watched. I finished watching The Walking Dead today. Like I finished watching, uh, catching up on some episodes. So that's why I'm just doing some Coral references. It's not my fault. I promise. There. Done. Ooh, novice. I am said novice. Got it. Take that. Leave the suit, because nobody wants the suit. Nobody wants the suit. Take that. Who who can stuff a purified water in that thing? Like, really? Damn. All right. What the? F See, look. This is like the Steve size, but you just make it a little smaller. <laughs> right? Coral. In fact, I need to make that um. There. See? Carl! <laughs> Carl! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Lady Will's like, <laughs> LOL, put Hancock in a suit. Oh lord, he hot. <laughs> he is. He's a very handsome character, especially now that I got the sexy Hancock mod on. But I still need to see if his face is still red, because that's. There's something, I don't know if it's another mod or what, but there is something that is, there is an issue of some sort that's causing his face to be red when every other part of his body is perfect. So I don't know. What was that? Thistles? Irradiated thistles, okay. Shadow says, they need a gun that shoots plungers and it shall be called the sucker. <laughs> Hello, my boy. Hello. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> hey, boy. You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. No. No. Wait. Let's just... 
Let's just give him. No, stop. Come, hey. come here. Over here. Come here, dog meat. Come here. Move here. Give her boy. Right, Lilo? I did. I do love the husky, husky version of dog meat. Pet him. Oh, oh my god. Before the. Oh my god. Sit still. There we go. Alright. There we go! Now I can pet him all I want! And that too, that like, the petting him, that's part of a mod as well. Alright, mole rats. Look, let's do it like hey. this. Eh. Where is it? Eh. It said, pick something. What in the hell? How'd you do that? God, if I can aim. I can't aim for shit. <laughs> ah! Hey, get him! Get him, dog mate! Got him! What? Yeah, good boy. Shadow's like, that's... Uh, that looks like my dog in Skyrim Remastered. Yay! I know, he's be cute even with his ugly looking teeth. <laughs> and I say that with affection. There we go. You look so much cuter when you're happy. Oh my god. I still, like, I love watching that video that um, Bethesda had made on YouTube where they posted it showing the, the German Shepherd that they used to model and um, that they had in the office to model after and all that. Like, she is so cute. She is literally the cutest dog. Like, the cutest German Shepherd I have ever seen. She's just- oh, she's so cute. Alright, well, I would do more editing and things like that here, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Let's just- let's just go. Look at him, he's so cute. Alright, come on, you bloodsuckers. Hate these things. Ew, what the hell? Whoa, it just flew. <laughs> Alright. Brahmin me. Nah, we're good. Oh, wait. There is something. It was an aid, wasn't it? Something I could do to test out a certain something something rather. Where is it? Nope, 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 nope. Any of that? What was it? Nope. Nope. Jiminy Christmas. What was it? Maybe I have to make it or something. Like, I think it was something I had to make. <laughs> What's this? Where does that even come from? My god, the things my character starts with, I don't even know. Willow, you said, uh, those things suck. I hate blowflies more. I know, like, I hate, I hate the little insect. Like, the thing that, that I hate most... Oh my god, no. Willow, no. The one, the one th creature, the one insect that I hate more than any insect in any Fallout game is the Cazadors. And if nobody in this stream know what the heck a Cazador is, then you're lucky because Cazadors are the freaking Spawns of hell on earth. I don't even know if that's the right way of putting that sentence, but there you have it. I hate Cazadors. That was the, I hate them. I hate Cazadors. I hate them. They are the most. Ooh. I can't. I can't. I can't explain it. I cannot explain my absolute hatred for Cazadors. Oh yeah, exactly. Will is like, oh no, screw those. Exactly, screw them, and the fucking earth that Cazadors walk on. Like seriously, I hate Cazadors. The fucking worst. Ooh, I got a message. Hold on. Oh, thank 
you. Um, Shadow, uh, Shadow Dragon Jamie actually sent me a message. Uh, I think they were sending me a link to the, uh, to the mod of their husky for Skyrim Remastered. Thank you for that. I'll totally check that out here. Unfortunately, I don't have Skyrim Remastered, but that's definitely one thing I'm definitely going to get. <laughs> um, Javon's, you said, Kazadors are like a thousand times worse than Death Claws. Will was like, I took a rad scorp to the face and I screeched out loud. <laughs> mm mm. No, 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 no. You haven't truly lived until you freaking see Kazdors, I swear. And you know it. You know Kazdors are the fucking worst. I hate those things. Oh, who that? The one thing I will always love about this game is the music. And the reason being is because of Ion Zur. And he did uh, Dragon Age Origins, and I absolutely love Dragon Age Origins. Get him, dog meat! Get him, get him, get him! Yay! Dude, you can wait a minute. I gotta pick up all the loot. Uh, see, look, this person looks like they're naked, but they're not naked. It just looks it. Take that stim pack. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, I'll take the double barrel shotgun. Thank you. Anything for goons. And I'll take this, and I'll take these, and I'll get okay, yeah, and I'll leave your stuff alone. And I'll come over here, and I'll take that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Will's like, get him, dog meat. Shh, Preston, you're fine. Exactly, Preston's fine. Preston's fine. <laughs> Preston, you'll live. Just, just chill, bro. You tell him, dog meat. Just, just chill, chill. Let's see. Really, nothing of note. Nothing at all. Hmm. Well, this place is a bust. This is actually really interesting. The alternative start mod's not that bad. Creepy. At least it ain't risen the evil mannequins. Ha ha ha. Ah, that was not a funny joke. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. All right, Preston will come play your little game. But we ain't gonna use the laser musket. Oh no, sir. We're gonna use a different kind of musket, pal. Okay. Man, I got some chocolate here. I got some freaking... Mm. I love my Hershey's chocolate. Mmm, no, they came out with something called Oreos cookies. Like, mm, like, um, chocolate. Like chocolate bars. Oreo chocolate bars. They're actually not that bad. Like, when, they, when my sister first saw them, she went on ahead and got every single different kind that there was. It was just good. Shadow is like or Silent Night. <laughs> wow, I missed. Oh crap, they moved. Oh, I see you. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually got that hit. My accuracy is piece of crap. Come on, I can do it. Yep, there we go. Auto, yeah, that's not, that's what I like about auto stim packs. I love that they give you the that they, they do auto stim packs for your for your character. Yeah, that's right. I shoot you in the butt. <laughs> All right. Ow! What the? F yeah, I see you, asshole. Won't be able to pick this. Gonna have to go around. That's cool. No more I'm doing good with you. Have your team at you. Ooh, silent or silent hill. Oh my god, yeah, I love the Silent Hill games. I've never actually played any of the Silent Hill games, but 
I been I sat down and I binge watched every single one of them. And oh my god, I'm still mad at Konami for canceling um the one with Norman Reedus, the the latest one that they were gonna make. Sorry. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, oh wow, Willie, you made a long, you made a long post here. Hold on, let me let me just crouch. Make sure I'm hidden. Um, LOL, all the perks mod is fun. Uh, you get 99,999 ammo, stim packs, 90,900 caps, and a badass assault rifle as part of a sniper rifle. That is badass. Like, damn. Oh, this. Okay, this is, this is easy. Okay, zero likeness. Zero likeness. Zero likeness, and now we got one left, so let's go through the code here. So, nope. Nope. And no. Ah, here we go. We got that. Then we got that. We got this. Alright, so we got some words eliminated. We got three duds removed. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if there's any more duds or anything here. I'm hoping it will give me one that will um, reallocate my points. Oh, another dud. Okay. All right. Don't do this to me, computer. Give me one that actually will reallocate the points. Now this I actually learned from Al Chesbridge. He didn't even know that this was possible on New Vegas, and then he said somebody told him this in the comments. And he decided to do it that day, and he's like, ever since then, I've learned how to do it. Yep, there we go! Now I've got my points, I've reallocated everything. Yay! Alright, so let's see, we've done magic. I think I did mines. So let's do... Wares? Okay, wares has one of... Mm, let's see, there's like five letters, so one of five letters. That's a likeness, so what could it be? Zero, okay. Oh my god, Steve. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Do 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 I'm not gonna risk it. Let's back out. Go back in. Names. Okay, so names has... Oh, I'm sorry, Willow. I, I went on ahead and backed out. Uh, let's see. Names has two likenesses, though, which is good. That, that's better. So, there's a word here that has two likenesses. And what what has more? What, what, what matches with this? Let's see. Uh, names. So, let's see. Names. Only thing I could think of is either paths. So, let's do paths. Paths that has two likeness. And what was it? Rates? So we got rates and ranks. Sweet. Got it. We're good. We're good. Open sesame. Take that, thank you. <laughs> well, uh, Shadow's like, who needs normal power armors when you can have gunsome power I'm assuming you mean Gundam Gundam power arms <laughs> or no or do you mean Gunsome? you probably do mean Gunsome. hmm <laughs> that Buzz Lightyear one though <laughs> oh or or Santa Claus <laughs> now that one's that's that one's all out chest breach right there his mortal nemesis is Santa Claus <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I really miss watching his videos. Like, he's a really funny guy to watch. You'll really be Death's, <laughs> Death's Gate <to> Hell. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I'm fall. No! Oh god, I'm gonna fall. Fall! Oh my god, don't fall. Why am I doing this? I made it. Yay. Uh. <gasps> Get away from my dog! 
that's right. I beat the shit out of you. Excuse you? You are not a ballerina. Get down. Ah, oh, screw it. Take the shotgun, though. Or shotgun shells. Take all that. Oh, I didn't even realize I could activate that thing. There you go. The more you learn. Let's see, I don't think there's anything here. Let's go. Actually, no, let's get the gun back out. Did I reload already? Yes. Cola. Ah, I must drink my soda. What the? Like no Nuka Cola? What kind of a damn world is this? I know dog meat. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Oh shit! What the? Hi. Nice death animation, bruh. Very smooth. Take that, take that, take that, thank you! And I could be cool and I'd jump across, but nah, I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood. So much stuff! Nuka-Cola bottle, but it's not a Nuka-Cola. Sad face. What? Oh, you're calling for me, Pre oh, Preston. You could freaking wait. Gosh darn it! Shh, shh. Eh. <laughs> I don't even know. Like a lot of people say that this painting, like that's Todd Howard's face right there. <laughs> I swear, Todd Howard is just. I really love that guy. I really do. If there's one thing I love about Bethesda in general, it's Todd Howard and every time he presents a game, like, I don't know, like, he, when he talks about a game, he gives it so much good hype, but then, you know, then the game comes out and it's like, uh, Todd Howard, this is not what you said was in the game, or when you said it, this was in the game, you didn't mean it was gonna be like this. <laughs> but still, I love Todd Howard, you know, like, he's, I just love when he talks about games and he, and he hypes about it. At, at, you know, co uh, conventions and things like that. Alright, let's get on in here. Hi! Man, I don't what? know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston supposed to walk towards me. Minute, man. Maybe? <sighs> nope. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead. Including you. Ah, uh, that ain't it. What? God damn it. You've got my attention. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? The things I've seen. Nope. The things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders God proved us it. wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue.
I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. <laughs> Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? <laughs> Will's like, Sturgis is so pretty. <laughs> minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade <laughs> long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, I gotta admit, I love the lips and teeth thing. Like, I think that's one of my later mods, actually. I think it was a mod I just installed tonight. Uh, let me see. I think it was, like, one of the last ones I did just not too long ago. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Immersive mouth and teeth. Ha-ha! <laughs> and now... I forgot that I actually got the one where I can have dog meat and another companion, so... Hi! Careful, kid. There's something coming. And, and it's... it's angry. Ma'am. You're not what I expected. Dog meat will find There's a crash bird bird up on the roof! But, oh, <laughs> so much better. Sorry, I'm trying to read what it says here. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog mate's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by oh, you now. sorry. I saw it. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. I'm listening. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see. This something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. <laughs> Shadow's like, for a minute there, it sounded like he said he was a tinkle. All right, now I'm hoping that this works because every time I do this with her, I can never freaking get past this. So here's hoping I can actually succeed this time. What is it, Mama Murphy? I need more, please. I'm, I'm Damn. sorry, kid, but I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear, but believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. But I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Mama Murphy. Oh. Hi, Nancy. Anyways. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Yeah, take that, thank you. 
Yeah, let me get on this, if you don't mind. Wow, that was, a, that was quick. Let's see. Burnt? Zero. Okay. Which? Okay, which has one? Let's do this one. <laughs> of course that would be wrong. So which as in which one and which as in... <laughs> that witch. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not W, obviously. Mm, probably not I. I mean, unless it's in the wrong place. So, let's try silks. And I just logged myself out. That's okay. I'm sure there's a, uh... Forgot. Yes. Take, take that bobble head down. Go. But I am, I think there was a, what was it, there was a, um, what was it, this one right here? Yeah, when hacking you never get locked out of a terminal when things go wrong. So I think with this one I can actually get back into terminals that are locked, right? Lock picking, yeah. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, and Mama Murphy looks like she <laughs> she's constipated when she talks. <laughs> like I man, I mean when when every time when Mama Murphy talks at all, like her animations are just like really exaggerated. You can't see me doing anything with my mouth, but like my mouth is going all over the place. <laughs> all right, so I think science, and then we'll do another one of this, cause you know me. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, let's go into the Commonwealth. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get them to Sanctuary, and then I don't know if I'll continue with this character or if I'll go over to my male character. Who knows? Actually, no. I haven't played my female character in a while. My like my my very first female character, a uh, Ariana. I think what I'm gonna do is I might play as her for a bit. I mean, come on, guys. What? I love you, dog meat. But every time you do that, there's nothing there. All right. Hold on just a second. Uh, not junk. It's in... Where is it? Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. Uh, Shadow, you said I hope you like my dog pic I sent you from Skyrim. Yeah, I'm gonna totally check it out. I don't think I... Can right. We got somebody up here. Oh shoot! 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 Hold on. Yeah, nice and fast. Rather get in there quickly than not getting there at all. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. See that? Not a people could get past my boy. I'll give you that. Come on, I've got places to be. Nope. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, I got a free free XP for that. Here you are. Come on. Got the 
Come on, I can just... I got places to be. Okay, fine. I don't want to go too close because I know if I do, it'll cause the death claw to appear, and I'm trying to be very careful not to go too close to cause him to to spawn. Because I've noticed that if you do get too close, that you do uh, spawn the um, death claw, and I want to be careful not to do that quite yet. Uh, let's see. Javens, you said... Get him, dog meat! Yay! Good boy! Alright, let me actually reload. Hold on, I'll read what you said, Javans. I promise. Oh, crap! Oh, son of a gun! Holy smokes, you jumped over my dog! No! Oh god, run and heal! Wait, did I kill it? Oh my god, I killed it! I did it! I killed him! I didn't even realize I killed him, I killed the god! Like, the very first time I killed his death claw, like, it took me four times. Four times before I could finally kill him. Is that it? Anymore? We did it! Yay! Oh, you weren't so bad. Take everything. <laughs> Take the storage key. Hmm. Take that harness. What the... Okay, I guess they are wearing underwear. It's just really hard to tell half the time. Like, gosh darn. That's why I was trying to do it slowly, because this might go up on YouTube later. I'm not exactly sure. Crap, I picked up something I didn't want to pick up. Alright, uh, Javens, you said, I wish this guy was a ghoul somewhere. <laughs> that would be really cool if he was the person in the, um, in the holotape. Like, that would actually be very interesting. I know that, um... There was a quest... Like a... Crap, I picked up another thing I didn't want to pick up. It was like a side quest of some sort. Uh, with... A character who's stuck in a refrigerator? I'm not gonna lie, I went ahead and watched the whole damn thing, because I can't. I'm, I'm special like that. <laughs> and... A lot of people are kind of having a controversy with his, um... I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna test it out. I'm just not gonna look at it anymore. But yeah, everyone's like, there's a controversy going on, apparently, with this character. It's just not lore-friendly. I don't know. Like, I don't know- like, I can't give an opinion on this particular, um... That particular character. So... Uh, J Vans, you said I would even settle for a named Pharaoh Ghoul? That would actually would be nice. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Huh. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Damn right. Listen, when we first met, you said you were just passing through. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ain't much, but it's the best we can do. And you've earned it. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Spoken like a true merc. Well, if you ever feel like fighting for something other than yourself, you should meet up with us in Sanctuary. I could use someone like you. Someone who can get things done. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because 
there's more to your destiny. I've seen it, and I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time, out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your destiny. What are you saying? And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Alright, uh, Shadow, you said the kid in the fridge, that's a ghoul. Yeah, you're right, but see, the, lot of the, the controversy about that character is that how could he have survived in the fridge for 200 years? You know, apparently it's sealed tight and he finished the the f like there was food there in there that he did finish a long time ago it's just a little odd for some people like me I really don't know I don't have an opinion on it honestly I think it's nice I mean you know a little kid and like that, that particular quest is you know kind of nice and everything in a weird way but I don't know uh Javens you said up until Fallout 4 ghouls needed to eat too but Fallout 4 decided that ghouls were able to go on forever without food essentially making them half immortal well they were already in a way somewhat i guess you could say immortal because they could live for so long but because of the radiation and stuff but it is true that they need food and water to survive although fallout 4 is a little odd when it comes to that whole thing so i'm not sure it's i don't know that's vague look kid i'm tired now maybe you'll bring me some chems later the site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. No, we're walking in. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> oh, let's see. Jay Vincey said there's a lore of, um... We owe you. No doubt about that. Okay, guys, let's just, let's just go. Alright, but, uh, yeah, Javans, you said there is... A mod that makes the quest more lore for and puts a skeleton in the fridge. You're right, I know. Yeah, I've, I've actually heard about that. That mod being made for that particular quest with uh, Billy and such. Um, and then Willie said, Yeah, Mama Murphy, no Kim's for you. Says the girl who usually romances the Kim attic. <laughs> you and me both, girl. Oh, finally. Look at that. I've never destroyed these things before. Don't look at me and laugh, guys. Like, I'm serious. I've never destroyed that before. <laughs> uh, and then Shadow Dragon Jamie. Unless the ghoul is a type of zombie class or race. Yeah. Run. 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 Making my way downtown. Stomping around. Uh... Trying to make the lyrics work and it's not working. Dun 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 Willow. I am one too. I am also. I don't know if I should say that out loud. But that's what I am too. Guys, look. I love ghouls, okay? Ghouls are just 
They're awesome. My very f the very first ghoul I ever fell in love with was Gob. <sighs> sweet old, sweet old Gob. Ever since I met Gob, like my opinion about ghouls was that every ghoul is precious. <laughs> and then I met the assholes at Ten Pennies Tower. And then I realized that not all ghouls are created equal. <laughs> just some ghouls. Huh, looks like they clean up the dog and the dead body here too. I just noticed that like that, uh, that there's always that body and and like mongrel dog. Exactly. Willow said it. Ghouls are sweet babies. It's true. They are. And you guys better be nice to ghouls. I swear, if there's a, if there's an apocalypse anytime soon, and we get ghouls on our hands, you guys know I'm gonna be nice to them ghouls. Cause that's just me. And then I'm gonna find one who looks like Sharon, and then everything will be a-okay. That's another thing, too. I absolutely love Sharon. Like, oh my god, he's the best companion! He's just the best. God, I love that mod. Like, this, that, that quick in and out mod. Oh, it makes things so much easier. Okay. Coral! Can't do anything, though. Like, I can't do any of this stuff. Yeah, because I don't have the I don't have the adhesive, adhesive. I don't even have the rankings for it. It's just oh my god. Just scrap one of them. Scrap, 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 and we'll keep that. There, and if there is one like Sharon or Hancock, I'll be happy. Or Nick Valentine, synthetic lover. <laughs> Which that reminds me, Willow. That's actually the reason why I did the. I wanted to do the alternative start mod tonight was because I did download the Nick Valentine uh, romance. I don't know if I installed it. I won't look at it up. I'm pretty sure I did, but if I didn't, I'll install it later. And that's why I made this character. She's perfect for Nick Valentine. Sniff. <laughs> Javen's like, after I blow up Megaton, I go on a killing spree through the tower. <gasps> How dare you? See, the thing is, I'm always trying to be good. I'm trying to always do the right thing by the characters. And help everyone out, you know? Like, even Tenpenny's Tower. Like, even though the people inside Tenpenny's Tower are such mean jerks. Well, not all of them. There was one. Oh my god. I love that old man. I actually miss him. It's just, that's the one thing I will fi say that's very sad. Out of all the people inside the tower, only one person was a really good guy. And that was Herbert, um, Herbert, Herbert Daring. There we go. Herbert Daring! I loved, by the way guys, when I played Fallout 3, like, anytime Herbert, uh, Herbert Daring, or Herbert Dashing Daring, can't, I, I know his name, his name's Herbert, okay? But anytime he came on the radio, like his to little talk shows, I actually would sit down, stop what I was doing in the game, like I would stop what I was doing, find a chair, sit down, and I would just listen, like I would listen to that radio, just telling like the little, the, the, it's just me, Herbert Dashing, and my, my, what was it? My, 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 um. Hold on. Nope. Wait. I got it. Herbert. Herbert. Daring. And my Star Wad. Ghoul Man Servant? Oh my god. What was his name? My Star Wad Ghoul Man Servant? Argyle! I love Argyle. <laughs> oh my god. I like I'm serious though guys. Like I loved listening to that that radio station in Fallout 3 and hearing it. Here must be the old North Bridge where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Where are you got you What the fuck? How'd you get all the way up there? But that way. All right. Uh, a reminder of what we're fighting for. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. 
I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Uh, sure, I guess. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. We've got water, plenty of space. Should be pretty defensible. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters. Hell, maybe even electricity. Do you really think that's possible? Yeah, I do. Not easy, not by a long shot, but it is possible. I've seen people come together to build a better world. That's what the men and men were all about before it all fell apart. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay, so is that good? Or... And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are men and men out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show trouble is. Mm -hmm. All right, look, I'm just going to say. Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometime. That's what the Miniman is supposed to be all about. By the way. All right, yeah, Sturgis, yeah, okay. It has begun! <laughs> Alright, let me read all these comments. Uh, Javens is like, hashtag Nick Valentine is bae. Yeah, he bae. <laughs> he, he, he my boo. He's our boo. He's mine and Willow's boo as well. Uh, Lady Willow's like, yes, nihilist. <laughs> Shadow says, nope, I'll have an army of cute hamster ghouls and... Their names will be Fluffy. Fluffy! <laughs> and Javen's like, he's up there with Kate and McCready. Hmm, Mc you mean McDreamy. <laughs> he's McDreamy. Which, like I said, when I first heard McCready, like, I, it, the name didn't, like, the name should have startled me at first. And it didn't, like, it should have caught me and I never did. And then when I looked him up again... Just out of curiosity, because I was curious about one of his quests. And I just... Didn't realize that it was the same character. Like, I know I talked about this last time. And I'm, it still baffles me. It really does. I don't know how to explain it. Wow. It's a big pile of... Yeah. The thing with the scrap... That's another thing, too. Uh, Willow, by the way... When it comes to the scrap all mod, like scrap that settlement mod, this mod in particular, the one that lets you scrap all the trees and things like that, it has to be above almost all your other settlement mods like that have to do with cleaning up sanctuary and things like that. Like uh, my debris, cleaning up sanctuary, cleaning up these buildings here. Like some of these buildings that don't even, that shouldn't exist. Like this one here doesn't, is, it doesn't even exist. It's like an empty plot or like a destroyed building. But in mine, I have like a mod that cleans this this building up and stuff. So it's it's probably best um, to make sure that that particular one gets this one right here where you scrap everything. That one's on the top because it will actually mess up sanctuary. Um, which that's what happened. Like I had this one like toward the middle of those mods, and every time I went out to the street, even after I cleaned it up. And I would spawn back here every, like, there would be leaves and debris and everything. So you have to make sure that the scrap all mod is always, like, toward the top. Uh, let's see. Javens said, it's because he didn't greet you with the, who the f are you, you little shit. <laughs> oh, so true. And he doesn't swear anymore. Bless him. That is true, yes. Oh, my God. I really like I I mean when I met that uh, like younger McCready like when he was when he was like 10 years old when we met him when we meet him at like 10 years old I swear he was just a he was an asshole <laughs> He was like he was just a little child asshole he was he was a jerk But then we meet the new McCready and oh my god he's just so sweet and 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 I'm just like I'm hurting because he's so sweet, and it's just like, it's weird. 
at the same time. Like, I can't explain it. It's just... Oh, it's weird. I like the new McCready. Like, wow. McDreamy. Like, holy smokes, bro. Mmm. Let's fix these fences. Like, this is just... No. No. This is... No. Get rid of that. Yep. Yep. Yeah, see? Of course, we could probably make it a little bit longer, but... Anywho, so you know, I'm not gonna fix it all the way. It's probably all gonna be taken down anyway and put with wired fences, but eh. Will was like, I didn't recognize that it was McDreamy until I went, Wait, I know that name. It's that little shit. Right? Oh my god, I know. Like, when I I didn't recognize him, like I said at first, by name, and I should've. And then when I finally realized that it was him, like, I was like, oh my god. First off, he grew up. <laughs> he looks cute now, he's grown up. And then I was like, oh my god, it, he just, what? No way. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should be happy or if I should be scared. <laughs> oh, but I really like to- like, I really like what they did with this character, though. Like, granted, it's- it feels like a different character, but that's because he's more- he's older now. It's kind of like with Dragon Age, you know? It's kind of like with characters in Dragon Age. Where, like, uh, you meet- let's see. I'm trying to think of one good character. Like, Morrigan! You know, Willow knows exactly what I'm talking about. With Morrigan, from the first game, she was a- she was a bitch. She's- I'm not gonna lie. Everyone knows that she was a bitch. Morrigan was a complete nutter bitch. She had her- I mean, she had her reasons. But, you know, she was just- she was. However, by the time you play- you see her in Inquisition, it's not the same. Like, it's different. It's different than in, in Inquisition. Because she's more mature, she's older now. She doesn't act so harsh about the world. She is a little bit more um, mature about things. So that's the reason why I really, really enjoy her character. Especially because of that. So it's just, it's just nice, you know? It's just nice to see characters like that. A little vulnerable and stuff. All right. Enough, I know. Enough, cat. Just play the game. I'm playing. I'm sorry. Just please don't be sad. Please don't be mad at me, guys. <laughs> uh, let me get to the M's and then I can finally read what just popped up on my chat. Where is that stupid... Nope, nope. Nope, 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 Here it is. Hmm, pardon. Uh, Willow, you said, if I had Flemeth as a mom, I'd be, a, I'd be a bitch too. And plus she was, and she has Karen, um, my little god baby. Exactly, right? And it's just so sweet how she's so protective of him, you know? You would never imagine. You want my two caps? We should keep moving. Don't want to be pinned down when the raiders come. I would love to bitch slap you. Why? Like, they need to... <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Clop! Alright, there we go. That's that's fine. We're just... That's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna go too too into this. Um, take that. Take that. Take the copper. <gasps> no! Give me my death claw hand. Thank you. Take the gears, take that, take the springs, take the steel. I didn't realize what she freaking had on her person, like, gosh darn. Actually, let me see something here. Come on. Hey, Mama. Uh, crafting? Just fine. It's nice to finally settle down after spending so much time moving around. Oh, yeah? You spent a little time on the run when you were younger? Oh, yes, you have to when there's a bounty on your head. A little elderly advice. Don't double-cross a raider. They hold long grudges. Yeah, that's good advice. Sounds like quite the adventure. It was. Someday, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> uh, Willow, you said... Morgan and Alistair are my favorite romances in Dragon Age Origins. Damn right, girl. My two favorite romances as well. I, those are the two characters I have romanced. 
And sadly, I had not romanced anybody else. Uh, Anders is my favorite romance in Dragon Age 2. Sarah, Cullen, or Cullen, Sarah, and Cassandra, and Dorian are my favorite romances in Inquisition. See, now, Dragon Age 2, I didn't romance anyone except Isabella. <laughs> the very first character was like, all oh, Varric. That was Varric's girl right there. Uh, second one was my sarcastic, um, my sarcastic mage, Darian, and he romanced, um, Isabella. And then my third character, Galen, um, he is my aggressive warrior. Oh my god, move out of the way, Cosworth. My aggressive warrior, Galen, and I wanted him to romance Aveline, but I know you can't. I know you can't romance her, but still, it was like, that was just, like, the thing I wanted with him. And now my aggressive warrior is depressed because he can't have her. And I still need to beat that on hard mode. Like, I have that like I have that save on the 360. And I feel bad because I can't beat it now because I don't have my 360 out. It's all put up. But yeah. <laughs> and for Inquisition, I actually did romance Cassandra. Cassandra's my favorite romance in that one. Although I have... I wanted to play the game with other characters and romance the other characters. But as you can see, I'm still a slowpoke on that one. Can't. Can't do that. Ooh. Let's see. Was it this one? Cooking pot, cooking stations. All those are as immersive as hell. Even this. Like, all this is. Anyway, that's not what I'm looking for. I need. It's in furniture. And I have these tents. I can now put up tents for people. <laughs> But why do that when I have the snap mod? Mwahahaha. This will make it easier though. Okay, so we have, I don't even know how many, we have five people. Okay. So let's start. So this is what we're gonna do. Eh, eh, come on. There's one there. One there. Perfect. And we'll just do one. Two, three, four, pillows, one, two, three, four, all right, that's done, then another one, and then we're just gonna do a regular metal bed, and we'll just set it right yonder, there we go, and then we'll do this, and actually no. Uh, Willie you said, Anders and Meryl are my main romances in DHA. Meryl, she is. Meryl is so damn cute. She is very adorable. I guess the reason why I like her so much because she's just so cute. Let me do military cot. And then we're going to do... Miniman! And a blue pillow. And there's Garvey's. Like, that's Garvey's. All right. Next but not least, we especially I especially need this right now. Where is it? Resources, bells. We'll do Insta Bell. That Deathlong Conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? You ever seen one of those suckers before? Oh sure, plenty. Eh. One time, you. I killed a Deathclaw all by myself. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, Mama, the fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol. Eh. What? Oh, I can't. That's right. I can't tell him to do anything because of all the other characters. Or because of the, the quests. I need to do the quests before I can make him do anything. Yeah, or quite the imagination. Alright, so there. So now he's got a bed. And Macy can also sleep with Mama Murphy on the top bunk. And then wherever the hell June just went. There he is. Wow, you came over here real fast, didn't you, June? Hmm. But that is, that's the thing, too, Willow. I actually really want to romance Dorian, because I heard his romance is very sweet. And then, of course, obviously, Iron Bull. Or, yeah, Iron Bull, because, oh my god, his was like, oomph. I heard was his was oomph and funny. And that makes me happy. And I want, I want to have a nice quirky romance with Bull. And obviously, you know how that is. <laughs> the things I want, I cannot have. Oh, by the way, um, guys, with my male character, I had built this gigantic building out here. 
And I wanted that to be my bar. And oh my god, guys. Like, the idea was nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The idea of having, like, a little bar out in the waterfront was nice and all. Yeah. We all thought, like, we all thought it was great. I thought it was great. The only problem with that was the characters could not get in and actually do anything in there. Like, they would just, they were extremely buggy. Like, they wouldn't do anything. They'd get in there and then they would somehow, they would, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They would actually lose their assignments like everyone in town would lose their assignments so unfortunately as much as i like building buildings on the waterfront don't build buildings on the waterfront because even though it's a nice idea and it's really cool unfortunately this here building stuff here on the water like uh, extra building and all that stuff it does not work they either one can't find a way into the building or two they just they don't they lose their assignments. Like everyone in town will lose their assignment on what to do, on what they're doing. Just, mm. It was awful. It was, it's a pain in the neck. It's a pain in the neck, is what it is. Willow, you said, yeah, the Iron Bulls romance is wowza. <laughs> I still remember um, in the Dragon Age in, uh, Dragon Age uh, universe group, someone it might have been you or maybe somebody else, like about a year or so ago, had posted the storyboard. For Bull's Romance. <laughs> I swear, whoever done the the, the drawings for that romance. <laughs> Best romance. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, let's get some food started. So we got food from the cooking station, which is nice. Um, and I got plenty of... Where is it? These! We're gonna need these. These are our friends. Eh, eh, eh. One, two, three, four. Alright, that should be plenty of food for these people for right now. We need plenty of water, and I need concrete, and I have no concrete. This would make it easier, but you know. Uh, Willow's like, I wish it were me. <laughs> he's like a big old... He's just nothing but muscle and skin. <laughs> Bull's just, um, Iron Bull is just... He's just a lot of body, and you're just like a little toothpick. <laughs> just like toothpicks. Concrete is why I said I need it. Still, it's a thought, guys. It's a thought. Alright, I will admit, though, this alternative uh, start mod is not that bad. Not bad at all. I really like it. No, not defenses. Water. Water. We need more gears. So... Well, I've got science, so let me go ahead and just get rubber and copper. And this would just be much, much easier. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. That's plus five... No, we need this. Mm hmm. And I can do this. Meaning I can make two things of water. So, and it makes, and it gives off 40. So that's 80 water. I need a lot of materials though. So, gear, rubber, copper, aluminum, and nuclear material. Uh huh. Hold on. Copper. Gears. Nuclear material. Uh, rubber. And I don't know if there was anything else, so I'll just grab a couple things that I think it needs. Steel, I think. And I think that's it. Alright. No, give me my cigarettes back. I can use those to make something else. Did I put something that's Deathclaw related in here? No, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, let me see. Willow, you said... <laughs> 
he does? Whoa, bull. Slow down, bro. Okay, so what? Iron Bull, so Iron Bull smacks you on the ass when you do a kissing. And I'm thinking if he really did that, he'd break me because one of his hands is my entire blade. <laughs> oh my heavens, my god. I think he'd break my spine in two. Because <laughs> I would... Oh my god. Like, bam. Exactly, right? <laughs> oh my god. No, I ran out of aluminum and screws. Aluminum screw screws. Wow, screws? School. Blah, blah. Aluminum screws and... Yeah, screws. Schools. Oh, look, I said it again. What the fuck? Mama Murphy, get the hell out of here. Shoot. Gosh darn it. Mama Murphy, get out of here. Shoot. That's right. Back off. Now what was it? Aluminum? I actually need some adhesive for something else. Let me grab a couple adhesives. And then... What was it I said? Screws. 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 Screws for days! <laughs> oh, if only Gluji was here, he'd laugh his head off. He's hearing me say that again. Adhesive. Da-da. Screws. Plenty of stuff now. Boop. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and build one more of these. Boom. Level up. Wow, thank you. And then we're gonna build one of these suckers, because this gives off ten. And then we're just gonna go blah blam and blah blam. And there we go. We got 80 water. Woohoo! So, water's taken care of. Go ahead and find everybody. In fact, let's just do it like this. Where's the insta bell? Oh, that's right. I put it all the way over here. Wait! Cogsworth. Hold on, Cogsworth. You, sir, are in charge of uh, these plants. Hopefully, you actually will do them this time. Because for some reason, I'm a male character. He doesn't do anything. Alright, anyways, serious time. Alright, so Sturges. Actually, no. Uh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh. There, I signed him to that thing over there. Hopefully. Yep, resource has been assigned. Thank you can't move him. Alright, hold on. Uh, nope. It's right here. Miscellaneous. Let me actually get this dangy majiggy over here. Thank you. In fact, let's put it right here. For some reason with Sturges, I don't know why, but with Sturges, I like to make him the scavenger of the group. I don't know why. I just, I just do. There. He's the scavenging sa station guy. Food, food, and Mama Murphy. You might as well put some backbone into it. Come over here. If I could find a free tree. Look, here we go. Free plants. There. Everyone's a farmer. So now there's plenty of food. Plenty of water. Not a lot of defense. And that's hard enough to do defense as it is right now. So. I just go turrets. Because turrets are good, you know. Alright, well, let's stop for a second. Let's level up. We got two level up. Hmm. Requirements not. Oh, I'm not high enough level. Okay. Well, there. Ah, uh, that's something, at least. Alright. Well. Let me actually check something here. What was it? There was something here. There was something I was looking for. 
I don't remember what it was. I know it's a mod. I just don't know if I downloaded it or not. I'm gonna have to go all the way to the bottom. So, sorry about this, guys. I have to do this. Scoot all the way down here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Okay. Visible weapons configuration in the A section of your inventory. Hmm. Certainly not here. Wonder. Sure, it's not here, but hey, don't look at me, guys. I'm I'm new to this. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness, my clothes were removed. I am so sorry, guys. You didn't need to see me naked. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me naked. Put that on. Alright, let's put this away, and let's see what I look like. Oh, nice. So I use the actual vault suit. Nice. Actually, hold on, let me do this. You won't be able to see it either. See, this will just... What in the world? Wow, that light is just awful. Anyway. It looks better on the male character than it does the female character. Anyways, but yeah, look at that. Got the vault 111 on the back. We're in the actual vault suit. See, the other one I wear is uh, the gunslinger one. The gunslinger one is just the coat by itself and uh, the regular t-shirt and stuff. Like a sleeveless t-shirt. This is different. This is nice. Nice. And of course, all my alliance in seven stuff is right here. But okay, but in all seriousness though, where in the hell is this thing? Highly doubt it's here. Yeah, see, it's not there. It says A, but I doubt what I'm looking for is in here. I mean, come on. The kind of vegetables. And vegetable soup is the best thing. Like, that's awesome right there. Hmm. Maybe it's something else. Like, maybe maybe I have it in the wrong place, in the load order. Which, that would make sense. Hey, Gluji! Hi, welcome back! I didn't get very far. Sorta. <laughs> Let's see. Um, we're actually gonna grab... Coral! We're gonna use the Coral gun. <laughs> there we go. Now it looks like it's working. Weird how it wasn't working before. I know that can be very disorienting. We'll just do it like this. That way it's not so disorienting, but still. It's very nice, you know, that the, the light actually looks like it works like this. Alright, now let's just go explore. There actually is one place I want to go. I want to go... I want to go down here, like way down in this particular area right here. Something tells me that this right here is either just water or it's the glowing sea. So let's just put a custom destination there and that's where we're going to go. Like, I don't know how. I'm sure it'll take us forever and a day to get there, but you know what? We're going to go. We're going to go there. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be great. We're gonna go to that area. It's probably not the, gonna be the glowing sea, but you know what? I don't care. I don't give a damn. We're gonna go. We're gonna go! And I may or may not switch to my female character. Depend like my other female character I have. My very first one. Ariana. It depends. Because I know her. I'm actually t oh, at the point with Hancock now where I can actually flirt with him for the first time. So, that's a, that's a thing, right? That's a start. This is nice. Oh, what was that? Aw. Nah, we're gonna leave him alone. 
Put your gun away. You don't need coral right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not sorry. I'm so not sorry. What in the world? Nice. Thank you for the free ammo in the middle of nowhere. We're just gonna go, guys. We're just gonna make it there to that area, because I don't know if it's the glowing sea or not, but I'm gonna make it there. Screw you, boat flies! Nobody likes you! Oh my god. Oh my god, the rads are real. If this makes me a coward, then damn it, I don't care. I'm getting away from these things. I just want to go to the glowing sea, damn it. Walden Pond, eh? Would this be in the said park where said Nora and Nate get jiggy with it? Oh my god, the rads. What in the hell? Just a regular kickball here. Okay, it's weird. Now, is there anything here? Yeah, the rads in the water are for real. Oh, what's this? Light him up. Ah, I was trying to see if I can do this in third person. Oh, there is a dude behind me. Hi. Nice. There you are. This ain't over. I think we're good. There we go. Turn off my light. Take that. Thank you. And nope. Yes, yes, nope. And nope. Where'd he go? Um, oh, there he is. Take that, take that. And take that, and we're good. Alright, to the to the glowing sea. Or what I think is the glowing sea. It's what I hope is the glowing sea. I mean I don't I don't know. Ooh! What's this? What's this? What's this? Ooh, take that. And my dog is snoring in my ear behind me. What the hell, Luna? What? Anyway. So much stuff. Alright, let's see. Um, equip that. And that's it. So let's go. Let's actually see what our character looks like now. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Push the camera back out. There we go. To the glowing sea and beyond. My god, if I was playing as Garrett, we'd get there faster. Ew. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god. What is this place? Oh god. Take a stem pack. Just. Is it. It's not a. Oh god, get away from it. Get away from it. Oh god, we need Hancock for that. Like, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh. I wish I could remember. Is this even a. It doesn't even have a, like, a map marker here. Damn, there's gotta be a location nearby. Like... Okay, but no, there's gotta be a, a location. This, this location, is, I think, is the closest thing. So let's see if we can get it up on the map. Come on. Discover. 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 Discover it. Okay. Alright, now that I've discovered Arcjack... What was it? Arcjack Systems? Yeah, Arcjet Arc Systems. 
Now that we've discovered that location, it'll help me remember exactly where that was. Okay. That's right, dog meat. Go ahead. We're so gonna die. We are gonna die. Like, we'll be dead. Deader than dead. Alright. Ooh! Whoa, crouch. Let's go first person. The other dude disappeared somewhere. Unless he fell to his death. Yeah, he fell to his death. <laughs> what a loser. Okay. Are you guys got any good armor on you? Right leg. I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take that. And no chest piece, because that will get rid of my. Hi. Thanks, stranger. That's more than most would have done. Damn. Folks. Welcome. This world coming to <clears throat> you saved our lives. I th thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You guys go ahead and go on home. Nobody needs to. Nobody needs a troll bridge right now. Actually, hold on a second. Let me see something here. Um, yeah, leather, more leather armor. All right, no chest leather armor though, because it'll get rid of my backpack, and that's what I have. I need for my uh, space capacity. So. Need to take a stim pack. There we go. Wait, okay, for a second there I was like, why can't I move? Hold on. Are we anywhere close to where we are now? Like, oh god, no, we're like it's way out there. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. Here's hoping we don't run into a death claw or legendaries. Oh god. Let's pray we don't run into any legendaries. I won't lie, the very first legendary, like in this game in general, that I've ever encountered was a ragstag, interestingly enough. Like, interestingly enough, a ragstag legendary was the first, like, yeah, that was the first legendary creature I ever come across. And I'm like, really? Okay. And all it did was run away. <laughs> it wouldn't fight me, it refused. Ah, Gluji, you said... So I started playing the Wii U version of Zelda, and I've barely s started a new playthrough on the Switch for when I'm not home. Should I do a shirtless playthrough? What? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> oh. Actually, it's kind of like, you know, with, um... Oh, what the hell? Wait. It's rigged. But is it a good rigged or a bad rigged? It's rigged. I don't know if this is good or bad. I'm pretty sure it's it's bad. Let's, let's give it a hard save real quick. But yeah, like there's people who would do so like certain challenges, like uh, you know how Resident Evil Seven, there's one person who actually beat the whole game on with knife with an with only a knife on the hardest difficulty, Madhouse. I mean, if that's like a challenge thing you want to do, that'd be cool. Willow, you said, whoops, hit sin. Uh, she had to leave. And oops, hit sin. She had to leave. Aww. Bad. Wait, begin test fire? Oh, God. Run! Dog meat, get out of there, baby! Oh, God. What did I do? Oh no, it's okay, Willow. I'm sorry that she's sick. Is she gonna be okay? <laughs> I don't know what the 
hell that did, but I just blew that sucker to pieces. Hope that wasn't important for nothing. Oh, let me see something here. Alright, we're getting a little closer. Pretty sure this is not where the glowing sea is, but... I have to know. Oh, you. Jesus. Ow! Let's see. Uh, Willie said, yeah, she's just tired and won't lay down. So I had her almost asleep and she started crying when I left the room and threw herself at me. So I have a very cranky, tired baby. Aww. I know exactly how it is. Uh, one of my other... I have two nieces. Um, my other niece is uh, about a year old now. And uh, wait, when, when she gets really... When she's really sick and cranky and tired, that's exactly how she acts. It's, it's, I know exactly how it feels. Uh, Willie, you also said... So, I'll talk to you later. Let me know when you want to play. Yes, I'll let you know. I promise. I'm hoping we can do it tonight. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Keeping my fingers crashed and everything. And, oh my god, I'm underwater. Ugh, no. Hate water. The water. I am sorry. I hate... I have a natural fear of being underwater in video games. I don't know why. I think that's the reason why I haven't played Subnautica's demo thing yet. I know, I know. You haven't played Subnautica's demo. I'm sorry. Uh, nobody important. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Well, I love you too, hun. I'll see you later. I'm hoping to see you later tonight. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, you can just keep that, that budget. Alright, but seriously though, where in the hell? Right, I'm sure the glowing sea is not this way. I'm sure that this over here is not the glowing sea, but I don't know where it is. Oh, fuck me! Son of a bitch! God. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. Alright. No more, mis no more Mr. Nice Cat. So we got a frag mine right here. Take it. Quick, 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 quick. No! It's sad it doesn't give you e uh, XP like it did in the olden days. I think I know exactly where I'm at. I think I did this with my male character. Yeah, I'm actually in the area where my male character was. Like, this is one of the locations I've discovered. Some stuff in there. Whee! Oh, let's keep going, guys. I'm praying it's, it's close. Keep going down? Okay. Keep going down, Shadow says. Keep going down. Oh. I feel like we're close. Yeah, this is a wasteland, alright. Let's do a save save. Yeah. Look at this. This is exactly... must. This must be the area where the bomb fell, because it's dead. Like, this is all dead... Nothing. It's like there's nothing here. And rads. Oh, fuck me running! No! Run! Run! Why aren't you running? <laughs> oh my god, it's right there! Dog meat, save yourself! Oh god, please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me, please don't find me. Oh, shit, and there's a radiation storm. What the fuck is that? Red scorpion, okay. God, this sucks. Why did I want- Why did I come here? 
Why did I come to this miserable place? Oh, wait, that's right, because I thought it'd be fun! Go to, go to the glowing sea, I said to myself. You'll have so much fun, I said to myself. Nope. Oh, fuck me! What are you? What are you? What are you? I'm like, hi, just run! I'm there at the glowing sea? Well, good, I'm glad I am. But God damn, I didn't think this would be like this. I thought it'd be exciting. I said it'd be exciting. Now oh, look at me. I'm kidding myself. I'm gonna get myself killed. Oh, fuck. Get away from me. Something out here. There's things out here. What the hell? I'm going to investigate. I found a cache. Nice. No, don't kill me. Please, I am innocent. I just wanted to explore. God, I love how it looks out here, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the glowing sea is really cool. The radiation storms are not helping. Fuji, uh, you said, actually, the only clothes I'll wear is... Head, uh, is headwear, so shirtless and pantless. Oh my god. It's kind of like Dark Souls prim- uh, what's, what's the character? Uh, barbaric or primitive, something like that? Like, like that, I think that was like one of the classes. Abandoned shack! Oh! Oh! Let me in! I don't know what that is, but I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Cram, cram. Uh. No, I'm not gonna go in there because I don't know if it's part of a quest that I don't know about. Oh my god, the rads. The rads are so real in this place. Hold on, let me see something on my map. Oh my god, there's something beyond this. Can I get to it while climbing this mountain? I, can I? Or no? Oh! Oh! Oh, I can do it! Come on! That's it, girl! Jump! Jump like you No! You're gonna climb this mountain, damn it! Bethesda says you see that mountain? You can climb it! I can climb it, damn it! I'm gonna climb it! Oh! Doing it with a mount will be so much easier! But Fallout doesn't have mounts! All right, hold on, I gotta stop for a second. Hey, right away, take a stim pack. All right. Shadow says, lots of scorpion death claws, those bug things and ghouls. The ghouls, the ghouls never bothered me anyway. No, no, don't fall down, you made it so far. Ugh. Don't remember the name of the class, but I remember getting super pee peeved off at the first boss because of it. <laughs> yes. Me, personally, when it comes to Dark Souls, I like being a thief. Or something like that, a rogue-type character. Oh, so that's where the X-01 power armor is. Nice. Okay, good, I don't have to worry about climbing the mountain. No, get away from me! Ow, it hurt! Why did I choose to come to this madness of a place? Get away! Even Coral can't save me from this! <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. Oh, you. Let me just. Okay, look. I gotta get first. I gotta get first person here. First person, come on. Oh my god. The rads. The monsters. This thing is so fucking real. Yeah. Quit it! You guys are disgusting. Get away from me! We! Oh my god, my health! Oh god, get away! Alright, hold on. Uh, Javens, you said... Deprived 
is the name. No clothes, a club, and a wooden plank for a shield. 10 out of 10. Best class. <laughs> yeah, that was the one I was thinking of. I forgot exactly the name. Good thing we remembered. Alright. Bethesda, you said you see that mountain? You can go there. Like, you know what? I'm in a mountain, and I'm going there. It's actually a hill, but it's it's close enough. Close enough. Shh. It's close enough. Why am I doing this? I really am going on a suicide mission right now. Forgotten church? Oh. Oh! What is that? I want it. I need it. I have to have it. I don't care if it kills me. I gotta have it. I gotta stab it. I gotta stab it. Oh, the rads. The rads are so real. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh, I'll take it. I'll take all of it. This. Ooh. No. Ooh. No. No. That it? Nothing else here? No? Hey? Nay? Good? Okay. Let's get out of here, dog meat. Eh. Take it. Nice. It's slow. Oh god, take it slow, take it slow, take it slow. Okay, go, 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 get out. The hell? Oh, fuck, no! Run away! Run! I don't have time for this shit! Run! Oh, I'm out of running speed. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No. Get away. Run. Jump. Leap. Escape! I'm not ready. Just run! Run north! Get away from the monster! I don't care how epic the music sounds. Oh god, we gotta get out of this place. Okay, I've had enough of the, of the, of the weight of this place. I, like, the glowing sea was fun. It was fun. It was fun, guys. It was fun while it lasted. But I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. My rads are just... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This place is awful. Why did I choose to come here on my own free will? Why? Oh my god. Look. You can't go that way. Screw you, game. That means I'm so close to the edge of the map. Oh my god, I am on the edge of the map. Oh god. Look at me! That is so cool! Okay, but no, seriously, we need to get out of this place. I'm not irradiated anymore, I'm not getting irradiated, so we are definitely out of the, the, the glowing sea. Yep, even the colors are coming back. Good. We are definitely getting out of this nightmare. Alright, what's this? Oh, nothing. The hell? The hell is this, Bethesda? What is this? I- I- I can't even- I'm just gonna go. I'm gone. I'm done. I'm gonna go. Oh! Can't go this way? God, I am really on the edge of the map here. What happens if I go too far? Will it do it like they do in Borderlands and it kills me? Who wants to test that theory? Maybe it's just an invisible barrier. Like, that's what they did in Fallout 3. Let's see. And Fallout New Vegas, well, you couldn't go anywhere. Oh, I'm stuck. Yep, it's an invisible barrier. I figured, I figured. Alright. Uh, Luigi said, because your fears that once controlled you, you can't get, uh, once controlled you, can't get you... Can't get to you at all. <laughs> oh my god. Because your fears that once controlled you, you can't can't get to you at all. I don't know. I was trying to do it like in Frozen. It didn't work out. <laughs> oh. 
Chatter, you said should have went to the abandoned shack. You would have got the power armor and killed some synths too. Oh, don't worry. I will fast travel back there. But look at my look at my health. Like you see, the bar is majority of it is yellow, orangey yellow looking colors. Nah, I don't think I want to commit suicide just yet. I'm not ready. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's a behemoth! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Run! I don't have time to fight enemies right now. I'm nearly dead. Dog meat pal, I love you, but you are on your own. Go find a new owner who is ready to kick ass. Chew bubblegum and kick ass. But be all out of bubblegum. Oh, not a Yao Guai. Come on, man. Cut me some flippin' slack here. More rads. More rads. Yay. That's right. Look, it's stuck. <laughs> I got it stuck on the trunk of a tree. <laughs> and we got fair ghouls. Okay, ghouls are not a problem. Yao Guai and... Friggin' behemoths and death claws? Yeah, now nah, they had a problem. Alright, um. Shadow Dragon Jamie, you said. Power armor stops rads, just a hint. That's odd, because there's some power armor that doesn't stop rads. Like, I think one of the weaker armors, I suppose, is what it is. But we are out of there. I probably should have started my my ass off in, in Diamond City. That's probably where I should have started, is in frickin' Diamond City, instead of out here. In the boon sticks. Or, I should say the, the boonies. But, you know what I- you guys know what I meant! Come on now. Cut me some slack. This girl's trying. Oop. Something killed these things. But what? Yeah, look here. Oh, power armor. Nice. Let's enter this sucker. <laughs> Glued you well. It sounds like they're not very good at bubblegum management. No, they are not. That was a very short fall. I love that there's like when you when with with some power armor that it is difficult to get some of it because either one it's locked behind a terminal door or it's locked behind a lock or you have to do something very special to get there you know like you have to do something like something crazy to get to the power armor which I really like that Wow Well, this is this cute. You two died in each other's arms, practically. The hell happened? Uh, Shadow, you said, yeah, the T60 and the X01 are the strongest two in the game. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this is nice, see? It's nice and peaceful. Peaceful. Actually, let me stop for a second. Let me see what we got. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do... Whoa. Was that just me? Okay, no. It's, it's the actual... Okay, it's the actual thing. So I think what I'm gonna do... Is I might actually turn around... And... Or kidnapping, what? Anyway. Whew. Yikes. Alright, but yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna play as my female character for a bit. Uh, my other female character, my very first female character, because she, you know, she's my very first character, and I really like her. I really like playing as her, and I miss playing as her, so. Because I, I played as my male character for a while. So, um...
Okay, I was hoping I muted that while I'm because I was with the cough. Um, but yeah, like I have played mostly my male character for a while, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play as my other, my very first female character. I really wish I could refer to my characters by name, but not a lot of like I I don't know how people do that sort of thing. <laughs> so at least I don't I don't know if people will like know who I'm talking about if I do that. Uh, character. Okay, so Ariana. And this was the exit save. Yeah, and I'm hoping, I'm praying to God that that Hancock's face looks okay. <laughs> because I do have the sexy Hancock mod on. And oh my god, he does look... Like, I like his original... Like, I love the default look. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Hancock's default look. But based on what I know f about Hancock, he's hasn't he's not a very old ghoul. He's actually a very young ghoul. So the only thing I could think of that's really good is the sexy Hancock mod because he he he's not that old of a ghoul, you know. So I think it's it's a nicer like a better idea to have him look more, I guess you could say human. But no, his face is still red. Why? Oh, I'm so confused. Far out, yo. But seriously, why the hell is his face still red? I will never understand. Hi. Pretty good lately. Yeah, it has. And then you won't. And then you say you will. And then you won't. You understand it now. So what are you gonna do? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. What the hell? My fence is messing up. I guess they did for like a millisecond there. Yeah, I think. What was that? Okay, no. Yeah, clinic. I think I was gonna make that into another building. I can't remember. Armor, armor. Yeah. Whoa, man, groovy. All right. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this up here. Hey, the bishop welcome welcome the bishop 45 welcome to the stream i am i'm in my 20s i'm 24 years old so yeah i'm a youngin sorta wait hold on i got armor and then i got clinic do i not have i guess i don't have weapons hold on let me do something real quick and then we'll finally sit down and talk to hancock because come on guys it's hancock all right so, weapons... Then we also need a clothing store, of course. And a general store. Yep, yep, yep. So, right about... No, 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 no. Let's put this right here. Let's get this one back out, and... And it doesn't make much sense. Be in suspense, and you know it. Can I get rid of this bush now? No? Still can't get rid of these bushes. Ah, finally you're eating this. Cows. Make up your mind. You're undecided now, so what are you gonna do? Alright, I think... Remember the last time I had clean fingernails? <laughs> <clears throat> Can I get you a drink? I'll take a look, sure. Great! Alright. Keep your identified card, because you need that to keep your name, which is Mita Glenn. I actually like that. Oh, but it's making me think of Glenn from The Walking Dead. Oh my god, that part, I still... Mm. Anyway, I still don't know why your face is so dark. I wasn't trying to do that. I'm sorry, Hancock, I apologize. Groovy. Um, let me see. Uh, Shadow, you said... Yeah, I do, in Skyrim Master with my six characters. Faith, a gothic vampire, Cherry, my redhead demigod, Floppy, my rabbit race character, Fang, my Nord wolf race, and so on. 
Yeah, like oh, that's the same thing with me with my, with Skyrim. Um, my very first time I played Skyrim, I had created almost one character of every class, and every one of them had a different, you know, had a different. Um, ooh, my favorite song. But anyway, they all had like a different um, guild that they joined. Although there was like only four of them that I really liked. Anything but come a regular pint size atom bomb, atom bomb, baby, little atom bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Bum, ba da dum, bum, ba da dum, bum, ba da dum, bum, ba da dum. Atom bomb, baby, poisonous power. Radioactive as a TV tower, and think your vision, vision stole, works with me like out of control. Atom bomb. Bishop, you said, have you gotten the shish kebab yet? Actually, yes, with my male character, I have. I have gotten the shish kebab with my male character. I love these these photographs. These are beautiful photographs. There we go. It's actually really pretty. It's elegant. Mushrooms me right up on a cloud. Atom bomb, baby, little atom bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times hotter than TNT. Bum, ba da dum, bum, ba da dum, bum. I think this will be clothing. Let me see. Get up here. Get up here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Glitchy said, I'm going to finally play Skyrim once it comes out for the Switch. Mmm, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if they really are going to do that. It was a thought, but I don't know if they truly are going to do that or not. I hope they do, though. That would be a nice change, you know? It would be something interesting. As far as I understand, they are going to go through with it, but I don't know for 110% certain. Because they said that it might and might not, or might not. So I really, I really hope that they do. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we're going to scrap this ghoul. There, we scrapped the ghoul. Oh, I'm the type of guy who likes a- Oh, whoops. <laughs> I remember the- <laughs> I remember the one from the movie better than I do the one on the radio, apparently. <laughs> it was confirmed- Okay, good, it was confirmed then. Hey there, bruh. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Groovy. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have an insta bell somewhere? I don't know if I have an insta bell in this place. Uh oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know if I have an insta bell here or not. Well, better start making one now. Alright, hold on, guys. Let me do this. There. Uh, let's see. Bishop asked a girl to hang out, and yes, then never responded. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know the feeling. Well, not with a fellow lady, but you know what I mean. I'm never in one place. I roam from town to town. <laughs> All right. Now what's good is that you guys can't hear, I mean, it's a little unfortunate you guys can't hear the radio, but it's also good in a way, because that way, uh, there's no copyright issues when this goes up on YouTube later, so. Alright, what sucks about this is that Hancock's face unfortunately is red, and it's a little distracting. I don't know what mod it is that is causing this problem. Maybe it's something to do with my male body replacer mod. I don't know, but that I like this was happening even before I I put that mod on, so I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the male eye, like the the eye mod. I mean, I really don't know what it is that's causing him to have a red face. That's just what people have been have been saying that could have caused it, and it, it's even what the mod it's, uh, the mod description says is that if you have anything that changes the character's 
bodies or things like that, which I didn't have a lot that changes Hancock, just male bodies have been redone and eyes. That's it. Like, I, lately I've been doing, like, a lot of hair mods, but it shouldn't disturb Hancock's character. So I don't know what it is, but, and I know it's a little distracting, I apologize, but we're gonna talk to Hancock, okay? Because, come on, guys. Him and me, we got a connection. We got a connection. We got a connection, Hancock. Hey. Hmm? Hey, Hancock. So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. I never get many complaints. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened to Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it, you got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. You and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh yeah. Guy's my brother. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was the standard big brother, entitled, punchy, liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. How could they do something like that? There'd always been a pretty big gulf between the folks living in the stands and folks down on the field. McDonough ran on it because he thought enough of those upper stands assholes would vote for him. Guess he was right. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. Just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. He never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. He murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent chems. So I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there. But most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks. But after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were, who couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. <laughs> and that's what we are? Friends? Well, now that you mention it, I have been having slightly more impure thoughts than usual. Maybe we'll get to uh, act on those. <laughs> but I guess we should probably head out, huh? After you. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk so, about uh, that. <laughs> I'm evil. I love it. All right, let's see what everyone here has been saying. Uh, damn, shut up, bro. All right, so Bishop, uh, the Bishop 45, you asked, what's the female companion's name that you find at the club? Uh, 
female companion at the um okay sadly sadly i cannot answer that question because i honestly have no idea i wish i could but like i said i have absolutely no idea how to answer that question how many beds i have seven beds <laughs> Uh, let me see, let me see, let me delete that chair. Hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, see, I haven't met up with her yet, so I don't- I didn't know about her. To be honest, I didn't know about her because I haven't met up with her yet, unfortunately. If I did, though, things would be much different. What is this? Teddy bear! I'll take it. There. Uh, but yeah, no, I have not met up with Kate yet, so I didn't know that she was there, to be honest. I honestly did not know she was there. Um, let's see. Cat in the Battle Zone with a Scottish accent. Oh, Kate. <laughs> that's right. Or, that's right, no, they, it's, it's spelt, it's spelt like that, and it's, it's Kate, that's how you say it. She's lovely and addicted to drugs, but that's okay. I've always, I always give Kate a rifle, and she always somehow ends up with the fat boy. <laughs> oh, you mean the fat man? Oh my god, yeah. What the hell? Okay. That's actually something I have found very interesting. Actually, no, I'll leave that because it looks pretty cool. Ha, what you doing? You're not even working. Look at all these plants. This plant, this place has got food. Like, food for days. That big uranium rock. Okay. My god, I don't know if you can hear this poor dog behind me, but she is snoring. I have a pet dog. My Miss Luna. My Luna. And she is just snoring. Oh my god, this dog. Hmm. I wonder. Alright, I'm gonna do something that's a little untraditional here. Oh wait. I have... I don't have a lot of circuits or oil. Okay. We're gonna fix that. Uh, then there's Carrie, the female Cogsworth in the vault. Oh yeah, huh? I've heard about Carrie. Whenever it's called, I'd be fighting and BOOM! I'm like, what the fuck? And it's kept blowing shit up. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Nope, not power armor. I need supplement supplies. Uh, what was that I said I needed? Circuitry? And gears, I think. Or was it oil? I'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> there. Wrong way. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think this is correct. Let's see. And, yep, yep, it was oil. I have plenty of gears. Alright, but Leon, I'm gonna do something a little untraditional from me building out of here, or building settlements, I think. I'll just go ahead and do it like this. This is a little different than what I usually do. I always like build a little balcony for them. Eh, come on. There we go. Eh, here we go. Whoops, nope, we don't want that there. How about like this? And then push you, like, right there. And pick you. And go like, uh, the, like, um. Okay. There. Let's get rid of that. There. 
there. Much better. Ah, I'm stuck in the trees. So men knee. What? Oh, what's to say? I I know I didn't run out. I say I move the mountains, and I move the mountains. They won't step out of the way. Mm. Have I met Valentine yet? No. I'm telling you, I'm a slowpoke when it comes to making uh, to meeting characters. Because as you can see, I'm more of doing everything else in the damn game than doing what I need to do. I need to get off my lazy ass and do it. I think that's what I'll do. Actually, with, with my female character. Like, my my male character, Garrett, he's more of a cheat character right now. Just because I wanted to test some things with him and get comfortable. And her, my female character, Ariana, that I'm playing as right now, I prefer to do everything by the book with her. Like, the only thing I'm cheating with, honestly, is just getting freaking supplies. Because, gosh darn it, this part is just... Uh, that... Finding screws and stuff like that, like, it's, it's just so tedious. I don't have a problem with doing it. I mean, I, mean, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to if I want to get damn achievements in this game, but it's just, it's so tedious right now. And then it's just, I'd rather just play and have fun and not have to worry about it. So that's the reason why. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. There. There. I'm, I'm comfortable. How much? Oh my god. 700. Ooh. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, let's see. Uh, Demonic Flame. What does your f character look like? Well, I have three. But I'll show you what my my f my very first girl looks like. If I could just get it to work. Here she is. I've named her Ariana. Uh, this is not her original hairstyle. This is the actually the second hairstyle I, I gave her. Actually, since I'm here... My god, my dog is snoring in my ear. I can actually uh, make a barber chair right now and do this. And it's going to take me a minute to find it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before I do anything, I forgot. I forgot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Because if I don't do this... Oh, snap. This is going to be so... It's going to be... This is not going to work. Okay. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get that, and then I'm going to get the fault camera. I'm going to exit. I cannot pull up my pit boy right now. I'm going to save. Let me do a new save first, guys, okay? I'm afraid I might actually ruin this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my save. Because if I pull up my pit boy after I just did what I just did, it'll actually... My, my game will kind of, like, not shut down, but my pit boy will disappear, so I can't do anything except exit the game entirely. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Bishop, if only this game was multiplayer. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people said that they wanted it to be multiplayer. Now, hold on. Let me see something here. Okay, now, please don't... Okay, good. Whew, thank God. Uh, let's do... Default. D, 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 Default. That's okay, Demonic Flame. Yeah, I saw that you added me. Thank you. Uh, Glue, you said, just to let you know, gosh darn, I shot his legs off. That's become an inside joke amongst me and my friends. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Glue. <laughs> Alright, now it's gonna take me a minute to find the hairstyle that she had. So, give me just a second here. I know it's here somewhere. It's that one with the knight. It's like a, a bun, and it's all messy. It's cute. I love it. Not that one. No. I wish I could remember the actual name name of it. Because if I knew the name, it would be much easier. Nope. I'm sure it wasn't this one either. No. Flying dance? No. 
Like I said, I really wish I could remember the exact name of what it was called. In fact, I think I want to go back to it. Was it this one? No. Wait. Can you get braids? Uh, yes. Only with the modded hairstyles, of course. Ooh, I like this song. Hey. You guys can't hear this song, unfortunately, but this is the first time I've heard this song before. Alright, no, that's hat, 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 hat. See, this is the only way I could wear a hat with that Elizabeth hairstyle I had. Nope. Nope, I can't do parties, not while I'm in the middle of a game. I apologize. That's the only that's the only thing in when I'm in the middle of a stream, I don't do parties. I don't, I have to plan that ahead of time. I think that's where that yeah. Uh Shadow, you said if Fallout was an online game it would be a mess like Elder Scrolls Online was when it launched. That is true. I'm hoping though that they learned from Elder Scrolls Online when it comes to this game. God, which one was it? Was it a Sky Hair mod? Like, was it one of the Sky ones? Wish I could remember, honestly, guys. I really wish I could remember which what it was. I'm gonna find it, though, because I want to switch it back to that one, even though I like the Elizabeth hairstyle. I am gonna switch it back to this one. The one that I originally had. I just wish I could remember what it was called. Uh, Gluji says, I keep recommending you to them, and the only per uh, person who has was Cheesy. <laughs> Well then, Cheesy's got some fun taste. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm not, I'm kidding. I'm not. No. Momo? No. Light ear? <laughs> no. I am gonna find this. I am gonna find this hair. Cause I want to get it back on. Cause I really like that one. I really like that hairstyle. It's one of my favorites. High life? No, I didn't think so. <sighs> I really wish I could remember what it was called. If I knew the name, guys, like if I knew the name of it, I would have immediately gone straight to it. But sadly, I don't remember the name of the hair that I had originally, so unfortunately we had to kind of fumble through and find it. Let's see, Bishop, you said they need to add braids. By far the most attractive hairstyle what the female snowboarders do. Yeah. Not this one. Nope. Persona. Nope. Edge. Nope. Nope. Well, could it? Could it be? No. I wish, but nope. It's not any of these. Something tells me I'm gonna have to go all the way to the top and go from the top down, which is, oh my god, gonna take forever and a fucking day. Oh, cool. I apologize. Sixty minute men. Sixty minute men. It was such a simple. It was such a simple hairstyle, and I can't find it. There. This is the only problem with hairstyles, is that they're kind of. It feels like these hairstyles are kind of all over the place, especially with their names and stuff. It's not in alphabetical order or nothing like that. Or numerical order for some of them, and just it makes it a little difficult for me to find which one I'm looking for. Lipstick? Nope. I will find this hair. I swear to God, I'm gonna find it. I still see the spinner. Hold on. Okay, no. Right. I'm not going to turn the hair any, uh, the head anymore because I'm going to find this hairstyle. I don't care how long it takes. I want to find it. This is the really this is really the sucky part is because I don't know which one it is. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Tinkerbell, huh? <laughs> Not the Tinkerbell I'm thinking of. Nope. Got a little sombra. <laughs> Ooh, I like vapor. But no, that's not the one I want. I swear to god, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it before the night's over. Nope. I know exactly what it looks like and I just can't freaking find it. Let me see. Nope. It was a Zur. Wasn't it? It was yeah, it was a Zars. I think. Mm, there goes my true storms. Nope. Nope. Now that's Laura Croft's hairstyle right there. If I still can't find it, I'm sure it's at that, the very top then. I really wish I- oh my god, I really wish I could remember the name. And I feel bad I don't remember. Ready for The Last of Us 2? No. <gasps> I found it! This is it! This is it! This is the one! Azura Ponytail 13. Yep. Now hold on, let me check the colors real quick. Deep red is what I picked for her. Let's go with the uh, burgundy for a second. Yeah, no. Nah. I like the original hair color. Yeah, deep red. Alright, she's done. She's, she's, she's done. There. Look at me now, Hancock. This. This, my man, is what I really looked like. <laughs> no, deep red, guys. I like red hair with my characters, hey. it seems, lately. Hey, hey Hancock. Oh, I thank you. I was wondering where you and I stand. What can I say? Like operate. Well, thank you. Your thoughts? Got you covered, sister. Are things hey. all right between us? I'm thinking we got a good thing going here. Why? You ain't skipping out on me, are you? Never. Your thoughts? You scrap like you were born for it. Your thoughts? So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a mentat school myself. It makes me feel intellectual. <laughs> Your thoughts? This beats my oral duties any day of the week. Uh, I'll do one Your more. Thoughts? You know, we figure out how to turn you cool. We can do this long term. Something to think about. <laughs> okay, one Are more. All right between us. Seems to me like you're my kind of trouble. Aww. That's all. Yeah, sure. All right, Hancock. Hey, shoot! Come on. Good as done. Sweet. Let's go. Not King Cole there. He's just the best, isn't he? He is the best. Cole walks into a bar. Bartender says. Wait, what? What? Hancock, I didn't. I didn't see what. Oh, I'll read it back when I watch the stream later. <laughs> From our sponsors. Hmm. Tired. I can't really. I can't clean up any of this junk. Except this, this. And get a prescription what today. the? <laughs> now hold on. This is an armor store, and my dog is just snoring like it's nothing. The positive. I guess that was easy if you were being Crosby. Eh? <laughs> there we go. This is what I want right here, and I believe. Uh, yep, we'll do it like this. Put it smack dab in the middle. And I think from here, we'll like put a bed right there. That way the shopkeeper can actually sleep at home. Uh, we will have to put like a little space for them to walk out from. Because every one of them is going to go to the bar. Which is over there in that barn area, so that's perfect. Uh, hold on, let me sit up a bit. So I don't dip my chocolate anywhere. Uh, Glitchy said, uh, when you don't know how to carry on a conversation, and you just say your thoughts repeatedly. <laughs> yep. Dappy moi. Dappy moi indeed. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the bed here. And... Okay. We'll give them blue. And we'll give them a white pillow. Yay! Now, whoever decides they want to become the armor shopkeeper, that's their bed. It's still for rent. Whoever wants to own it. And this will be for armor, which, oh my god. This place is a disaster zone. Clean up this shit. What the hell, bro? Even these bookcases, just get rid of everything. Look, look at this. Look, look, we'll put the bed over here for right now. Or the table over here. Let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Unfortunately, not all the dead bodies can be scrappable, but some of them can be, which is a good thing, I suppose. Ugh. Nope. Pick up the damn rug. There. Hmm. Now, I said that this one was... Weapons. No. Actually, let's quickly do the bed... <laughs> R.I.P. Bloodstain. Mmm. <laughs> but that's actually a, uh, a mod in itself, too, is the blood uh, textures. It's actually updated. Uh, we'll do this one. But too much, too much is falling in mine. And weapons. And here we go. But someday, the sun will shine. Mm-mm. Some folks can lose the blues. All right, we'll just leave it where it is. But when I think of you, another shower starts. Into each light, some rain must fall. But too much is falling in mind. Just to start us off. Oh, wait. No. Some rain has got to fall. But too much of that stuff is falling in the mind. Sorry, I'm doing the lyrics a little too fast right there. Anyways, um, we're done with me singing, though. My singing is just, you know, it's... Uh, it's a par. There. Okay, and then we'll give him a nice fluffy white pillow, and there we go. Now, this is the clothing store, and we gotta get this place cleaned out too. Look at this! Look at this disaster zone. Now, sadly, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh, Bishop, have you discovered the fort with the crabs? No, I have not. Are we talking about the castle? No, I have not discovered the castle. Uh, I know that I, that's actually one of my quests. I just don't have done it. I just, I haven't done it yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> and as you can see, I prefer building and hanging out with my ghoul buff friend. So, yeah, that's a thing, apparently. <laughs> There. Um, I'm afraid to... I'm really afraid to do that. Uh, Glitty said, I'm so disappointed in the human race for letting something like the Emoji movie exist. <laughs> oh, and Bishop says, What? That's the best base ever! You're right, it is. Like, my friend even told me, and then she showed me the, the freaking Mire Alert Queen. I was like, uh, nope. Nope, 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 and more nope. And nope. And more nopes. And nope. Nope. Look, the castle ain't gonna go anywhere. It's fine. It's fine. It's 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 totally fine, guys. It's totally fine. The castle? Psh castle's not going nowhere. Who said I have to worry about 
the castle now. <laughs> oh, you all are so silly. And where'd that arm go? Don't get don't get stuck. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. And the arm is officially stuck. Alright. Can I get you to move now? Oh my god, it's officially stuck. Look at this. It's stuck. Well, people are going to see an arm every time they walk out of this place. Now you, I'm going to actually move, move you. I wish I could bury bodies instead of, like, just scrap them and stuff. But still. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put your poor, poor soul over here, my man. Right there. Right there's fine. Yeah, you're not gonna go anywhere. Uh, let's see. Javens, you said after I saw the trailer, I turned to my sister and told her I was ready to die. <laughs> uh, then Bishop, you said you can fill in the holes in the wall. I had a population of thirty there. That's nice. Very nice. Actually, I kind of like this fireplace and stuff, too. Let's actually leave that. No, let's get rid of that brain fungus. Instead, let's do a, uh... Military cot. Actually, no. We'll do a regular bed. Roy Brown! Again! Plenty of his records survive. Somehow. <laughs> well, damn, son! If you don't like his music, just say something! Jeez, you don't have to be an asshole about it there, Trevor. Or Travis, or whatever the hell your name is. God, ever since I did certain, like, after, ever since I did something, I don't remember what it is in particular. Or, no, yeah, bo like, ever since I dealt with Bobby, he's been a dick. I don't know why. It makes for a great Halloween direction. A decor you're right? It had great Halloween decoration. No, no. Okay, no, here's, here's funny. Here's something that's funny. Back in, like, mid-2000s or so, um, there was this Halloween decoration um, that you could put in the trunk of your car, like, have it, have it hanging out in the trunk of your car, and uh, what it is, is that it was, um, it was like a half of an arm uh, with, with a hand sticking out of it. <laughs> And what what you do is, like I said, you put it in the back of your trunk and you let it hang out. And, uh... <laughs> it's pretty much what you do. It's just a gag for Halloween. You just put it in the back of your trunk, let it hang out. So that way people driving by, they see a, a hand, or like an arm hanging out of the trunk. That was the best Halloween decoration ever. Uh, let's see... Bishop, you know the NPCs are gay. Some NPCs are, yeah. Like, I know some of them are, are um, homosexual. Yes. I mean, I've played enough Dragon Age of Mass Effect to know now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gluji, unless you mean... Unless you mean they're stupid. Or happy. I mean, I don't know what your particular definition of that is. Of, of what you mean by that, so... I'm hoping that I'm, it's meaning what I think it's meaning. Uh, let me see. Glue G. It makes for a great hello. Yeah, it does. Uh, and then Jay Vinzi said, 2 a.m., time for coffee. Woo -hoo. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Bishop, you said, the black guy at the beginning was trying to flirt with me, so I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> are you talking about. Are you talking about. Um, uh, God, I know his name. Nobody tell me. Uh, Preston? Are you talking about Preston Garvey? He flirted with you? Mmm, boy. Actually, no, let's not give him a light blue. Let's give him a dark blue. Pretty dark blue pillow. Nice. Yes. <laughs> hmm. I think I should do it. What should I do? Another one out here? No, I got this one right here. Mr. Garvey, yep. Mr. Flippin' Garvey. Why does my heart go on beating? Do, 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 do. Why 
Do these eyes of mine cry? Do do do. All right, now I've got some children settlers. So what I need to do is I need to make a place that's perfect for the children. Goodbye. Let's see. We need a place that's perfect for the children settlers. Unfortunately, almost every building has now got a purpose. Uh, let's see. Javens, you said, best mod, mix Preston Fat and changes his name to Preston Gray. <laughs> oh my god, I've heard about that mod. I didn't know if it was real, and now my, it seems my suspicions have been confirmed. <laughs> uh, Bishop says, should invest in a webcam and get a free overlay. Mm. Uh, the thing is, are you talking about for me? Because if you're talking about for me, uh, webcam's a no-go. Mainly because I'm not, I'm not yet comfortable enough to reveal my face to people. It's just a personal thing, and I'm just not ready for that sort of thing, personally. Hmm, you need a bed. I don't know where to make you sleep. Um, and... Let's see. There was something else I was thinking about. Um, and a free overlay. Actually, yeah, there was an overlay that I found, like, it was free of use. And I went on ahead and just edited it real quick, and now I have a free overlay. So yay! Hi! Alright. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Boom. No? Boom. Now will she be able to fit? You know, I'm not, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I really don't like that I'm doing this, but I'm just going to use a regular bed. Yep. Hate doing it. But there's a sleeping bag. Boom. You know who's going to sleep here? I hate doing this to you, lady. You're like one of my favorite little NPCs in here with the name now, but you sleep okay. here. Okay. <laughs> the bar should do nicely. No, the bar is not for children. I think I might make this area right here, this building, once I clean it up. Like, I might actually... Actually, I already have a barber chair. I didn't realize it. But I think I'll clean this up a little bit, and I'll make this... Like, I'll leave this here, the terminal and all that stuff alone. But I think I'll make this building here for the kids. I mean, come on. Unfortunately, all my other buildings are being taken over by everybody else. So The only other building is this one over here. But it's not big enough. Hmm, unless... Well, no, none of the buildings are really big enough for anything. But yeah, like, it's it's not really big. It's not as big. So... I mean, unless I clean it out real good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, good ones, and then okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bishop says, well, L-I-R-I... Luric? Is that how you say their name? Luric doesn't use one, and he's one of the biggest streamers. Well, I'm still starting out, uh, Bishop. I'm still not that big of a streamer myself. I mean, I've only started doing this back in, like, late November, early December, so... Hmm... Yeah, I know you like that, Hancock. <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, like I'm I'm still I'm still a little streamer here. I'm not really that big as well. I'll go ahead and just delete all this junk. So still learning too. I'm also still learning about a lot of things. I'm not 
quite ready for other things yet. Go ahead and delete all this junk. Especially for children. Whatever you do, make sure you don't show your IP. I think that one is actually very, very easily understandable on its own. I, I wouldn't do that thing regardless. In fact, I don't even know how the hell to do that, so that's a good thing. I'm I'm glad that I'm dumb. Let's just let's just leave it at that. I'm glad I'm dumb. And luckily for you, I don't have Steam anyway. Or for most people, I don't have Steam. So, because I don't I don't play on PC as often. So, because I don't have a really good working PC as it is. So it wouldn't matter. A demon. He's a devil. He's a god. Sorry. <laughs> another, uh, an another good one. Yeah. Another good one from. Uh... And take this one. And wait, did it connect properly? Yes, it did. Now it did. Is that good? Der oh stream uh, key. Of, uh, okay. I guess um, from a sponsor here. I see. I see. Now, now I see. Uh, it says stream on there. I I'm reading it so fast that it, it looked like Steam. I apologize because I know a lot of people talk about Steam keys as well, and um, I think if I'm correct, Steam keys are for games, right? Like you just that's what Steam keys are for. You buy games with it. What are we doing? Wrong mattresses. Child mattresses. You think of me. Actually, maybe the one who. Nope. Is waiting for me will prove untrue. Then what will you do? <laughs> I apologize though, guys, with my singing. I know it's awful. Well, to some, I know to some it's awful, and then to some others it's not. So I appreciate it either way. Hold on, which one would this fit for the children? Like, which one of these would be... F like, this is way too small. I think... Wait, I, I think I just did this one. I'm sorry. Um, a little too big. And this one is just like... It, it swallows it. Hmm. Uh, for instance, as Bishop says, if you play Call of Duty Remastered, luckily I don't, um, you go to your settings, it'll show your IP, so check uh, a game on the before you stream. Well, lucky for me, like I said, I, I don't. Like, usually when I'm playing, when I play a stream, it's already, I'm already in the game, or I'm about to start the game, so. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. Hold on a minute. Where in the hell... Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do regular mattresses or regular um Yeah. What in the hell is this dark? It's clean metal. Is there two that's is that why there was two clean metals? Yeah, that's the clean metal I want, not the other one. Hmm. Well, I feel more comfortable with bunk beds. So I'll go ahead and get the punk bunk bap. Yeah. Bunk bed back out. No, I do not. I, as I mentioned moments before, I actually do not play PC games because I do not have a working PC, regardless. So, <gasps> I am 
out of cloth. This is a first. I actually am officially out of something. Like, I remember getting a butt ton of cloth. Now look at me. I have no cloth to speak of. There. I now have plenty of cloth. <sighs> Boop. Whoa, groovy. <laughs> All right, hold on just a second. Boink and boink and boink and boink and boink and boink. And hopefully the adults don't come in here and boink and boink. There we go. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Bishop, you said... Oh, rip. I built mine. Uh, when uh, when you get one, you gotta play H1. Or H1Z1? Mm, not ready for that, thanks. <laughs> Alright, you got a home now. Uh, Glitchy says, better get it from the sleeping bag. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there. Alright, now hold on. Whoa, no. Alright, so I got one kid. This one. It's him now. Eh, so close. So far away. Yay! Alright, so he's good. Hey, Hancock. Hey. Alright, okay. And she has a sleeping bag. Hmm. Not really happy that it's a sleeping bag, but you know. Alright, so that's all I can do. I've I've done everything I can. There's nothing more I can do. I mean, I could do electricity, or like, you know, do some electricity in this place, but pff, yeah. <laughs> I would love to, but sadly there is not a sign that's like that in here, unfortunately. There is no sign for that. I apologize. A little plant would be nice. I wanted to spruce up the kids' room. Get rid of this rat roach. It's not Steve, so we need to get rid of it. Ah, where'd he go? Come here. You're not Steve, so let's go. There. Got rid of it. I think we're good. Oh yeah. Da -da -ba -da -da -da. Groovy. Hey. Groovy. <laughs> Alright, if you make a radio tower, you will get more people fed. No, I got, yeah, I got a radio tower already. Trust me, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you here. Recruitment tower, got my siren. So I'm way ahead of you. I've been playing this game long enough to know what I'm doing now. Actually, there is one thing I need to do, which I don't think I've done yet. Hold on, I think... Uh, no, it's in miscellaneous, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Fast travel. And I want to fast travel right here. This is my fast travel point. In fact, let me just take that and bring it closer. There. That way, if I'm ever fast travel and Hancock's over the way here, I'm like, hey, what you got? Go check that out. I can do that. Yeah, you bet you ass you can do that. Now sit that sweet ass down, sir. Thank you. And then I'll sit here, and then we can have a pleasant conversation. Hey, Hancock. I take requests. For you, I got time. And there no, we go. Nothing. Yeah, sure. That is, it's still a little sad. His face is a little distracting. 
and it's sad because it's a, it's such a good mod. Heads up, moving out. You got it. Come on, come on, babe. Let's go. Hopefully, eventually, if we just let this sit now, if it sits, well, we'll be able to get some more companions and, and stuff here. God, look at all these quests. Like way too many. Do you do the glitch with the book you find on the kid's cradle? Nope. Nope, I did not do the glitch. I actually did not know there was a glitch. But so, uh, been... if there was or was not a glitch, I I, I, I have it fixed. I, I'm pretty good. Really? Talk to Preston. That does the little castle thing. Find Nick Valentine. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I got a level up. That's right. I got two level ups. You gotta use the dog. Yeah, no, I fixed that to where now I can have dog meat with me, which I'm actually gonna go and get him here in a second. Well, anyway, uh, you get the idea, I guess. So let's, uh, let's go back to the music. Okay, use your imagination, because here's Happy Times by Bob Crosby. I need to teleport. And if I'm correct, I think dog meat's here. Plenty of folks want to uh. Oh, Hancock, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just did that to that man. Uh, let's see, Bishop, you said, and the dog can fetch the cryolator from the vault. Nah, don't worry. I'm actually, I'm already maxed out on my uh, lockpicking skills with this character. So, my, well, my, Ariana, which is the one I'm playing as, and then my male character, Garrett, they're the only two that are fully maxed out. The other woman that I was playing as, my third, fe my my second female character, but my third character technically is what she is. She, um, she's fresh off the block. I was testing out another mod from her, so that's why. <laughs> my dream is not in vain. Mm -hmm. You do find the rainbow. Did I find the ray gun yet? Nope, not yet. Alright, I don't know where he's at, so... Hey, boy. Heads up. Hey, boy. No, come here. Aww, thank you for that. You cute dog. Alright. Take the stem packs? Thank you. Actually, with my male character, yeah, I did find the UFO. Um, for my male character, I don't know if it's the same with my female character, but for my male character, uh, the UFO is literally right here in this area. Whoops, I just pressed the wrong button. Let me get over here again. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. The UFO is right here in this area. At least that's one of them that I know of right here in this area. Because the reason I remember is because this is where I was going, and I found it, like, right around here. So I do know where the UFO is. I just didn't see a weapon at the time. I was half awake, half asleep anyways, at the time, so... Yeah. And this is where we live. Or, well, we will live, Hancock, hopefully, one day, maybe. I don't know. I'm hoping. Hoping! I'm hoping. I'm hoping. It's, it's, it's still work in progress. Look at all my turrets. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait, no, no, I didn't break my legs that time. Woohoo! Oh, make his breath. Hold on a second, guys. Uh, Bishop, you said, there's a hole in the UFO with an alien. He's easy to kill. Okay. Twenty people. Yay! 
Hey, dog me. He's so cute. Come on inside. Come on inside. There we go. You're halfway inside. At least it's something. And I'm so in love. Da -dum -ba -da -da -dum. This is nice. You're my armor. God, so many people. I actually need to assign you and, you and your husband in the same bed together. And Mama Murphy's kind of messed up in my female players playthrough, actually, unfortunately. Uh, let's just say I accidentally deleted her bed and now she's stuck. Okay, I think everyone's good. Yeah, okay. We're good. Hey, you like it? It's where I live. Sorta. And then I've built this son of a bitch over here. And now I know with my male players playthrough it won't work. Still, I'm proud of it. I worked so hard on that welcome sign. Anyway. We're done here. I got what I needed. I'm going to travel to Diamond City. If I'm correct, is that's... No, here it is. So I need to find Nick Valentine here. That power armor over there, I didn't realize it. So. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to travel here. Alright. Gluji says you gotta get to bed. That's okay. I'm, I'm glad you joined me tonight. Thank you for joining me. I might play another game, but I'm not going to probably, I'm not going to do, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to stream it or nothing. I'm just going to play, uh, play a game with my friend, um, who was here earlier, Lady Willow, so. But I'm not going to stream it or nothing. Bishop. What the fuck? Never seen that before. What? That building I just made? Or, or the, the whole welcome sign and all that? Uh, yeah, like, I I built that one night. Like, I was just bored, and I was like, I want to build a building on the water. So I made a building on the water. And then I worked for, like, a good... Like, it took me a good, I don't know, four or five hours working on it. I remember talking about it once, and I don't even remember, like, how long it took. Gaming Hellprin, welcome to the stream. Hashtag console scrub? Mm, I don't know. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Donuts. Sounds delicious right now. Anyways, but in all seriousness, anything else here I need? Anything important? Yay, nay? No? Okay, good. Let's go. Spy Gluji, thank you for joining me. Hold on a minute, I'm stuck here. Let me see where I'm at. Oh, okay, I see where I'm going. Alright. Actually, grab my weapon out. Whoa, the frames there for just a Split second, didn't like that. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Are you sure that this is the right place? I mean, Nick and the Freedom Trail seem to both be in the same place. I'm not sure if I happened with that. Uh, uh, gaming helper, and you said, I don't care if you play PC, PS4, or Xbox, all are great. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. Hold on a minute. We are sure. Okay. I honestly thought I wasn't... I, I wouldn't like PC, but I do. Um, but I couldn't see myself playing Fallout on PC, the bishop says. Go to the middle lake. The middle lake? What middle lake? Eh. Well. Oh, God. His name is Swan... Oh god, please protect me. Christ, you still with me? God. Where? What the f Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Leave my hand, cock alone. Oh god. Oh god. Go, ah, run away. Get a oh my god, he's so close. Oh god, run. If you kill him, he drops a legendary? Well, nice. Oh god, I'm about to die. Yes, use a stim pack, girl. Oh my god. Who doesn't love some Louis Jordan? Am I right? I am. 
Oh, you get away from my Hancock. You get away from him. Oh, I swear to God, if I can't. Mm. <gasps> Nobody touches my dog and lives. Oh my god. Pretty funny. But I mean, she's a ghoul, so it's actually sort of, you know, a yardstick? Like a little uh, yard, anyway, uh, an actual yardstick. Okay. So I, I hear that she was um maybe up to something. And oh my god, it's a power fist. Uh, I see. Snipe the fat pen. Uh, if you kill me, you drop some legendary. Maybe. No, no, <laughs> yep, I did. I ran, but I made it. One, because he hurt so, my uh, Hancock boo, and two, no he hurt my pretty little dog meat. So, increase the damage of each. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take it. I take it. I prefer my leather armor, thanks. Wait, I'm heavy? No. Hancock. Hi. Got my attention. Maybe. Yeah, I better got your attention. You're holding all my legendary stuff. Here's a 60-minute man, and uh, I mean, let's be honest here. It's well, it's not talking about how long his naps are. <laughs> so here it is. All right, there we go. Got your attention. Ha 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 ha! No, he he no he doesn't. All right, now hold on a minute. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Is it over here? Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. I'm interested in the history of this place. Let us go back hundreds of years. Oh my god, it's going to take a while. Bishop, it took me three days to get carried to <laughs> seven years, thousands of British soldiers have camped on this very soil in their orderly rows of tents led by General Thomas Gage. They seek to quell the growing tide of revolution the night of April 17th. The officers are assembled, General Gage. Four days prior, I received word from the Earl of Dartmouth. We have our orders. Lieutenant Colonel Smith, gather 21 companies of our best men and carry them with the utmost expedition and secrecy to Concord. Once there, you will seize and destroy all artillery, ammunition, oh my gosh. provisions, tents, small arms, and all military stores. But what of the colonists, General? Take care that the soldiers do not plunder the inhabitants or hurt private property. But we can and must defang them. So, near midnight, Colonel Smith marched with 700 redcoats to face brave American Patriots in the Battle of Lexington and Concord, and thus the Revolutionary War began. Continue on the trail to walk through more of our great city's history. All right, let's see. Uh... Bishop's like, like, damn, we are in a fall. I give you food, water, shelter, and you still that stingy. Well, you know what they say. Now, hold on a minute here. All right, Nick Valentine's in here, and I just noticed like what time it was. I'm not even sure if I should stay. <gasps> oh yeah, son, give me them Nuka Colas. Take them mint pants. Take him bobby pins. 
Oh my god, Hancock. Your poor face, my man. Alright, but in all seriousness though, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to save it. And I might actually call it a night for now. Because um, as much as I would love to keep playing, I just realized it's like almost 4 o'clock in the morning. So, I need to get some sleep. I have I'll got things you, I've got to do. So. Was the best decision we've ever made. Hold on a minute. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Well, okay, I guess... Well, hold on, depends on how far away he is. Okay, talk to Preston Garvey. Psh! Huh. Ain't nobody got time to talk to Preston Garvey. Really? I missed? He got whacked. Get him! Wow. I'm trying not to hit Hancock because I think- Yeah! Good boy, dog meat. Right. She's here for the detector. Now, I don't. At all. Get him, dog meat. Somebody get him. Alright, gotta go talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop, for joining me. I'm glad you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I honestly do. Alright, hold on just a second now. Uh, nope, but I'll take that and that. Not really, but. Oh, wait, no. I'll take that. I, I probably. Nope, I didn't. Okay, good. Yeah, where was I? Uh, there's a dude over here. Nope. Uh, nope. Wait, what weapon is this? Ooh. Nope. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, but no. No thanks. It's nice, but no thanks. Splendor's just like, alright, let's take that. I see. Ooh, it's a terminal. Let's use it. Blah 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 blah. All right, purchase tickets. Err, notice. Yada yada. Never employee notice. Okay, nothing important. Anything here that I can use? The hell? Didn't even realize the cash register was opened. Subway tokens. Ooh, locked. Ooh, whoops. Well, luckily for me, I got plenty of bobby pins. Just a little bit more. There we go. Sweet. Wait and lead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bottle caps. Bottle caps. Bottle of bourbon. At least I'm hoping it's full of bourbon. Ooh, some purified water. A potato. And oh, look at that. Ouch. Yeah, that can easily be fixed, guys. There we go. Nice. Ooh. I need to make a gauze rifle that's like a sniper rifle is what I need to do. That's something I said to myself I wanted to do with my very first character, Ariana. Which, actually, funny story, Ariana was supposed to be, like, I wanted to name her Helena, but that was a name that uh, Cogsworth could not say. Which is a little upsetting because that was the main reason why I wanted to choose that name, because she had a really nice name on Fallout Shelter. Her name on Fallout Shelter was Helena Snow. And she was the first character I got that was level 50. Or that reached level 50. So I really wanted to, I wanted to have a character named Helena Snow. Snow worked. Like, that's the last name that can be used. But Helena is not a name that can be used. Which sucks. Alright. Shoot, shoot! 
Shit. All because dog me had to bark. The hell? Oh, damn. Get him, Hancock. Or, you know, not. Don't help me then. I am right in front of the dude. How am I missing him? Yeah. Good boy. No, no, don't waste ammo. Thank God for the automatic stim packs. I'd be dead without that, that ability. Guys, uh, if there's any, okay, no new, no new comments. That's fine. Now, legendary triggerman, where is he? Nice. Okay, take those. Oh, not bad. Hancock, can we talk? Or no, is this a bad time? Probably is. Uh, look, I'll help you with this dude. Shit. Look alive. Yeah? This is what I've got on me. Thanks. But, uh, I need you to carry some stuff. I hope you don't mind. Hate making you into a pro uh, pack Brahmin, but uh, I need I need you to help me out, okay? I just I need you to help me out, my boo. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. I should probably stop picking up melons. Just pick up money and. Uh, my railway spike. Coolant? Nope. Paintbrush? Nope. Wow, this is getting a little disorienting. Cram! And I'm full. Alright, time for a buff out. And it is also time to eat, like, a bunch of food. Now it's a start. Num 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 num. What's it say? Oh, pfft. Okay, uh, let me see. He's still this way. I should have grabbed Carl. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Leave the uh, Instamash and Sweet Roll. No reason to grab it. 
And the other body was over here, right? Choo choo. I think on my male character's playthrough I called it choo choo. Because every time it reloads, it makes that sound, right? Ooh. He's in the vault. Vault 114. Nice. Well, well. Vault 114. You'd be surprised how much scum we have on the world. Hancock, where are you going? Come on. Alright, I think I'm gonna finally cut it off here. I mean, it's late. Oh my god, I didn't realize how late it was. Let's see. Oh god, dog meat, you nearly got stuck. Another legendary trickerman? Some stuff that requires keys. Ooh. Take those, thank you. Take the rataways, the stem packs. What's this terminal for? Oh. Wait, was there a hollow disc in here? No, this is load. Okay. Just making sure. Is there a pack of cigarettes? Nah, we're good. Ooh, water. Water. Nice. Maker's breath. I gotta freaking crawl down this damn tunnel, don't I? So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I took that dude's head clean right off. And he's dead too. Thank you for the free bottle caps. You're right, buddy. Now, I'm hoping that the person up that, that he's here, so I'm going to do a hard save. Let's see. Oh my god. Wow, really? I missed him from here? Wow, he's fast! Oh shit, is that it? Oh, oh, okay, no, it's just baseball bat. Scared the living hell out of me, though. Get away from my dog. There we go. Take the ammo, thanks. Oh shit, buff out. Uh, hold on. Just trade for a second. Uh, do we have anything I can give you? I literally cannot give dog meat anything. Okay, hopefully this works. Car one weight. 
probably should have invested in the weightless junk mod. Anyway, um... And that's as much as you can carry. You know, that's fine. That should be good. Wait. Never seen no potato chips. Oh my god. Really? Okay. <sighs> oh, I thought I thought I said confirmed. Okay, sorry. Here we go. Oh, this is just wonderful. See what the terminal says. Uh, same thing as before. Oh my god. We have to go so deep in this vault just to find Nick Valentine. This is ridiculous. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> it's already 4 o'clock. Like, it's like less than 5 minutes till 4 o'clock. So, what I'm going to do... Let me just open up my map so I can see what's going on here. Oh my god. Yeah, he's on the other side of the vault. Screw this. Okay, it auto-saved. This is perfect timing. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to stop here, guys. I would love to keep playing. Trust me, if, if, if my lifestyle would allow me, I would keep playing and not stop. Because that's just me. You know, I, when I get so into a game, I just can't stop playing it. Ain't that right, Hancock? And I will fix your face, I promise. I gotta figure out what it is, about, what, like, what happened to cause this. Something is causing your face to, to, to go dark like that, to turn red. So anyway, guys, I am done for the night. So I think... Hold on. Much better. So. There. Thought I could zoom in some more, but I guess this is as far as I can zoom in. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all coming in and, and joining me for the stream. There's a lot of people that came to join me. My buddy from my buddy Adam over on Gamers Platform hosted me. This has been the longest stream I've ever done. I think the longest I've ever done was four hours. I don't even know how long this one is. Just one stream by itself. Uh, because I've done, like, a four-hour stream and then, like, I've done another stream that's, like, an additional two or three hours or something. I don't know. Either way... I greatly appreciate y'all coming by and sitting and enjoying and watching me d play this game. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cat the Gamer Gal. I'm saving. I'm doing another hard save because I'm paranoid. So <laughs> I'm paranoid as hell. Okay, just shh, I'm paranoid. And yeah, next stop, 24-hour stream. <laughs> no, sorry, Javans. Uh, Javens, I'm not I'm not ready for a 24 hour stream. Like my body's already getting tired and I'm starting to get a little drowsy. So there's no way I'm not ready for a 24 hour stream. I'm still got a long way to go before I can do a 24 hour stream. So not yet. I have to be in really good shape to do a 24 hour stream. My body's physically not ready. That and unfortunately, I'm too busy personally here at home uh, to do a 24 hour stream. Unfortunately, I there's just no way. I would have to be complete al completely alone at home to do that. And I'm never home alone, so there you have it. So anyway, guys, uh, I do appreciate y'all. Yeah, one day. I do hope so. One day I might be able to do one. So who knows? Maybe sometime in the summer when there's a when I'm only one in the home, maybe I could do that. Who knows? It's just it's just a thought, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for for coming and watching and enjoying the mods. This will be a full modded playthrough one day. I promise you it will be. Um, I just don't know how to start it off and what we're going to do. So we'll see. We'll see. But yes, I appreciate you guys coming by. And I'll see you later.
And Ariana says bye too. <laughs> Best first character I've ever made. I mean, come on. She's pretty. She's gorgeous. And I'm glad I got her original hairstyle back. She was looking a little too much like Nora from my male character's playthrough, so... Yeah, nah. Anyway, guys. I'm off. Good night, and thank you for watching.